Shout out to Coppish. Shout out to Coppish, guys. All the, good work the two up. legends, Evil Heskey, Howard, Howard Gell. Can't get much better than that, guys. Yeah. You know what to do now. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm with legends, guys. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>Good evening, lovely people. I hope you're well. Welcome back to a live match reaction. As always, when we get behind the mic, please make sure you subscribe, comment and like. Liverpool back to winning ways. Three points on the board. Back to the top of the table with a 3-1 win over Burnley. Three goals, three headers from our front three. Jersey boy, how you doing, bro? I'm doing good, man. I think that's the first game I've seen this season where every single goal in the game are all headers. All headers. Yeah. We scored three headers. It's the header derby today, but <laughs> wasn't the best game to watch. If I'm being fairly honest with you, I was yeah. wondering. We did not look good at all in that first half. But second half, we turned it around. But it was one of those games where it wasn't pretty on the eye. Yeah, completely agree with that. Obviously, you had drifted the watch long. Big up for that. Um, I managed to catch, I'd say, 90% of the game. And yeah, we, we didn't really seem too cohesive and... We didn't really seem like we we're at the races. Never really got out of gear one, in my opinion. Maybe gear two in moments. Mm -hmm. But we showed our quality when we needed to. Um, Jota capitalised <laughs> on a the mistake. Then they scored a brilliant header. I do I, Again, I might be wrong here. Some uh, guys, I'm sure you'll correct me. Um, I think Kelleher could have moved his feet a little quicker for their goal, even though it was really well-placed header and, and a powerful header. I think Kelleher was a little bit slow to move his feet. Um, then we had Diaz's header, which was good play from Harvey Elliott. And then the third header for me is, is the goal of the game. And one of the best headers we've scored this season, like that was a fantastic header. I know people are going to say, oh, it was only Burnley. Or what? But to, 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 to score that sort of a header is not easy against any goalkeeper, against any team. So yeah, happy with the result. Performance wasn't great though. Drift, your thoughts? Uh, the performance wasn't really good um, in general. I think the second half performance massively picked up, though. Um, I, we, we, they missed some chances as well today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they, they, they did. They did. We the give away game. chances every game, though. So that isn't even really about this game. Now, we could be absolutely dominant in the game and we'll still have one or two chances we'll give away. It's just how Not as play. clear as those two, though. Those two are Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tough. Sometimes, think about it. There's been so many times where we're like annoyed with the fact that you know we're still there's just a random chance that a team will get against us mm, um not not to the volume of today yeah, yeah. they are too many today they, yeah but like we we've been in games where we're dominant for the whole 90 minutes and still have that and but how do we give away that chance so it's kind of our in our makeup but you know what the mark of a good team is a team you can win when they're not playing well mm. we also came back from some adversity today because that goal before half time is a killer like that really does deflate the team who's conceded it and boost the team who scored it. That's just yeah. football in general, not even just about today. So we overcame that adversity. Apparently, Trent's is an injury while he's yeah, come off. It was definitely an injury. It was never going to be yeah. tactical that one. Yeah. Um, and I don't think he even looked fit against Arsenal anyway, to be honest with you. So that's a worry now because you know we, we can't has be it been confirmed, it. Trent was an injury. Has it been confirmed? It hasn't been confirmed, but there's some rumor. I'll double check. That he was he was limping. Because all I knew is that when I left you guys, I went back to watch second half and I was like, oh, Jones is playing right back. But I didn't hear anything from the commentary say um, anything about injury. They just said there's been a change. So I, I don't think, know when... I think it's based on yeah. people seeing him limping. Okay, there we go. Um, James Pierce, uh, Trent taken off a half time as precaution. Yeah, it was always going to be... There was never any way that was going to be a tactical switch. Like, yeah, no, no, yeah. I knew it was no, 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 I knew it wasn't tactical because you would not put Jones at right back. But what I, what I was hoping is what kind of James Pierce, yeah, well, said is that it's precaution, not that he's definitively oh, there's something wrong. It's more mm. like we know we can only get forty five minutes out of him, and yeah, we've given him enough game time. Boom, we have to make this switch in it. That's 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 what I was hoping, yeah. basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, yeah, overall, when you win a game and you haven't played well, it's a good thing, right? It shows the mark of winners, et cetera, et cetera. 
I'm I'm slowly losing my my confidence in winning the league. Um, if I'm being completely honest with you, because I think it's the the overall mentality of the team that I'm worried about. But we keep going, man. We keep going. We'll speak more about that on Monday because mm. I echo you a little bit there. Not necessarily to do the mentality though, more the injuries and the mm. rate at which we injuries. I agree with that. I, I if I'm not mistaken, there was a bit of a flu pandemic in the squad. Klopp, Klopp was saying yes. something like that. Yes. Obviously, hit Allison and Gomez, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seemed like um, there was quite a few people. Yeah. So again, that hopefully that just that's a few days and then the team's back. But I don't think there's a mentality issue overall. But I do think it creeps in there sometimes. I'm not even talking about mentality in the way of like, I think I don't, I don't think, think they're so. good enough and they're not winners or whatever. I'm talking about mentality overall. Remember, if people hear mentality, they just straight think, are oh, you a loser or whatever? No, I'm even talking like overly emotional. There's a lot going on this season. Like, I'm, like do you know what I mean? And these aren't excuses, just things I'm thinking. Like, imagine all the emotion now floating around, feeling it for Bradley after hearing his dad's died. That's not long after you hearing that Klopp's going. Then the, the whole uncertainty about what the future will be like after the season. There's a lot of shit going on at Liverpool at the moment that could be affecting the mentality of the players. So I don't mean they're just like, oh, yeah, we're not good enough or whatever. I'm just talking in general. I'm just a little bit like, you know, because the injuries are on top of that, right? Because you're coping with a lot as well with the injuries and the squads being pushed to the max, et cetera, et cetera. So all I'm saying is, I'm just a little bit worried overall about so much going on while you're trying to win a league. You know, you're trying to win a league and there's so much going on. So we'll see in it. We'll see. Yeah, I think if I'll be honest, like I said at half time, I said Liverpool need to make sure that they, they understand how important this game is. And I think the urgency wasn't there. But one mm. thing I will say is that we answered that call. And in terms of uh, if there's any doubts, I don't think like it's a mentality issue. I think it's just injuries mm -hmm. to the point where there's so many injuries and we've coped so well and absences, so not just injuries, absences. So that's Salah when he first went to AFCON. I know he's injured now. Endo as well, who I didn't think at that time um, of him going was going to be so, so crucial at the start of the season. But look how that panned out. So... And there's obviously Soberslice injury. Trent's picked up niggles. There's only so much any top squad can handle, in my opinion. And I feel like we're at our max now. There's no more. Like, if we take another hit, I'll be honest with you, it, it, it could be detrimental, in my opinion. Mm. Completely agree. Completely agree. Um, just looking at the first half. First half was one of the worst first half performances we've had at Anfield this season so far. We we did go in at 1-1, but we just weren't at the races at all. And, and you know, the, Kelleher did really well. Um, uh, let me one sec. Yeah. Kelleher did really well of um, just dealing with a couple of things that happened and and kept us in the game at one point. And then even the goal, the goal, the goal was really fortuitous. They made a mistake and I'll be honest, I think Trafford actually had a really good game today. So, it, like, for him he to make a mistake, a like, a bit... Who, a bit. sorry? Who, who? Trafford, their goalkeeper. He had a good game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, did. He, did. So he, he made a very good save mistake. from... He made fact, a few, he made bro. A few good he, saves. He yeah. is a good... I, I was saying during the game, you see if Kelleher does want to go and search a first-team football, Ain't I'd love it if Trafford was our backup bro, goal. He ain't going to go... <laughs> <sit on the laughs> he, um, he, he, he moved in the summer for like 19 mil, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, he did, he did. His he price did, only going to go where up. Where'd they get it from? 19? Man City. Man City, yeah. No, no, that, that one I'd actually say is legit because he was under 21's sure. goalkeeper. Yeah, he's under 21's goalkeeper. Because you know yeah, they've been doing a lot of this. They no, no, like, no, no, no. When, it, it was yeah, like player of the tournament or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he, one of, like, he, I don't oh, think fair he play, can, fair play. I actually mm. think he went through the tournament about conceding a goal or something stupid like that. Oh, right. I did, I did, see, I'll yeah. be honest. When it, when it, when it, goes, when it, when it um, comes to Burnley Pause, um, I didn't really know. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, yeah. No, I had to. Come on, bro. That was that was a big one. Still. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Not that one because <laughs> I didn't see put, that no, one. No, I can't lie. You didn't no, see no, no, it? You, 
You put the S on I, the I end. I saw bro. it you, before bro. it happened, bro. bro you got, bro, you got, you've got, un, you've got untrained. No, man, I have to much. move like Marty McFly, bro. Like, <laughs> back much. to the future. You, you, I've already you, seen you, it. You, you do realize no. you can cut before the pause if you want to clip. But I'm off just anyway, listen. Right? I don't want to because I know people are like on here, innit? But what I was gonna say is though, I'll be honest. I knew Burnley done well last season, but in terms of this season, I, I ain't really watched them. Like watch them this season, yeah. I'll probably see more Luton than Burnley, and I and what is so crazy is I look at this Burnley team, and I think if they played like that every game, which is obviously impossible, it is impossible, but say majority, bro, Burnley should not be in any troubles. No, nah, do you? That's re- what, no, that's that's the reason they are in trouble, man, because they do play like that every game, bro. So teams carve them. No, open. no, 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 no. But what I was gonna say is this though, yes. But think of the chances that they had against us. They had two one on ones on another day. They score different game. One on one, but Kel- they don't. They don't score. I know. I know. Kelleher, wait, 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 wait. Kelleher scored. Scored. Kelleher saved one, one, one good one on one, and the other one, the, the the same guy put it wide, bro. On another day, yeah, I'm gonna be honest. We're looking at a different game. We have to kind of give Burnley credit, you know. Like no, when I, I say credit, yeah. I mean, guys, I I mean, Jersey's got to shoot off in a minute, so let's actually get Jersey's thoughts on the game. Um, I'm not not, not doing the watch along anymore because it's a bit too late now. Okay, okay. You sure, yeah? No, no, yeah, I'm I'm potential, I'm potential. Okay, okay, cool. You you guys can keep going. You don't don't have to rush it for me. Go on, mate. Yeah, yeah. because I thought Jersey had to shoot off. Go on, mate. Yeah, yeah. No, all I was going to say is that, yeah, that on a. Obviously, we'll get to play already, but just 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 quickly. Liverpool, obviously, we stepped up in the second half here. But you see Burnley. Burnley even stepped up themselves in the second half. Those two one-on-ones, I'm not going to lie to you, I was frightened. Because the first one, I thought, oh, my days is a goal. Kelleher made a good save. Luckily, the striker put it kind of straight to Kelleher. The second one, when he opened up his body a little bit, I just said, oh, my gosh, it's a goal. But somehow they missed. Bro, one thing I took from that game... We're still allowing teams too many opportunities. We obviously understand how important our goalkeepers are. That's Ali or Kelleher, but Ali more so. And not only this, this ain't a dig, because I know Drift might have a got me, but it's ain't even a dig. We really miss Ibu today. Because there were certain things I saw from Kwanzaa in a high-intensity game, and I was like, he's doing well, but there was a few things I was like... like and because he didn't have that, that pace to recover... Lack no, it because he was good today, he, though. No, 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 not saying he was bad. He, he, what I'm saying, there was a couple of things, Long said, time in you know? man. <laughs> bro. Let me land now because you're trying to make it to something that it's not. What I'm saying is, the defenders, if you look at opportunities that, um, uh, that were yeah. that we had to face, they all kind of were on, um, <laughs> uh, Trent's side, though, even, you know? <laughs> I know, I know, they were all on VVQ side and. And Curtis Jones side, obviously, when he went off here, yeah, those that's where they the, where they got more joy, shall I say, more joy. And what all I was gonna say is this: <clears throat> Ibu can make a mistake just like Kwanzaa, just like Van Dyke. The only difference is is that Ibu might have that recovery pace, whereas Kwanzaa might not. And because we play such high intensity football and risky football, at times we can get caught out. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all it is. The so funny thing is, thing. I, I, I know Kyle's trying to do the, the Dana White thing and Vince No, you know what? This, this yeah. is this is one thing. This is one thing that I think that people. And that's not forget. a dig. Do you think that's even a dig? Like, that's no, not a dig, is it? No, that's no. Just, and yeah. the only mistake he made was it, it was when he headed the ball off of their player and then it, and then it ran through. But um, in, in my opinion, it ain't even about it ain't even about um VVQ, it ain't about Trenton, whatever. I think a lot of people yeah. keep on like. And especially because people are worried about Trent defensively. So a lot of people keep thinking, ah, oh, they're attacking down that side because it's the weakness. Really and truthfully, I think if you look at most teams, their left-sided attacker is their best attacker. And sometimes it becomes a bit of a coincidence. But because we're always worried about our right-back situation or the right side of the field, everybody always thinks, oh, no, they're just attacking Trent, attacking Trent. There's not many top left wingers, um, sorry, left-footed wingers in the world. And we do the invert thing all the time, right? You mean so right not wingers. many teams? I know what you mean right, like no, this, yeah, so there's, AK. There's not no, I said that's what I'm saying. So there's not right. many brilliant yeah. left footed players. That guy did, so that yeah? means that there's not that's that many right sided wingers. <laughs> so 
It's a bit weird after Mad Wecky absolutely cooked Villa as well. But anyway, <laughs> so, so I still think he's trash. I can't even laugh. But he hasn't even I, done I, anything I think, I think that's what it is. Uh, Matisse, can you get me, can you stick me into Cobham, please, so I can just show <laughs> show levels. Big up Matisse, though. But yeah, but yeah, I I think that's that's a lot to do with it. I don't think it's even mm. just the fact that because let's be honest. Kanate has to do way more work than Virgil Jenny during games. It's not like people are looking at him thinking Facts. he's the weakest but, No, agreed. I think agreed. it's just because we get attacked down that side because most people, most teams have better left wingers than they think right wingers. Uh, but but they also know when we infer. Yes, I agree. No, no, I'm not saying there's not a possibility for that every now and again. But generally speaking, mm. you attack down the side of the field that your most strongest winger is. And sometimes... Or most of the time, teams don't have brilliant left footed players. Other than Saka, Salah, no, how many great right wingers are even in the league? No, no, no. But no, what I was, go down you, got a bow, you got a Bowen to no, Cal's but, point. You got a Bowen. You got an yeah, Elise. Okay. No, but, Hold on. We got a few. Yeah, Bowen and Elise. Yeah. Are we just going to sleep on those players? No, no they but, are good players. But that's only four out of 20 teams. So there's only four teams that you would say have got brilliant but, right but, wingers. But, right? But, 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 to add to that, like, if if you look at the back line, I'm not even trying to throw shade, and I'm sure we'll speak about his performance in the um in the in the player ratings. But if you look at our back four, whatever variation you play, whether it's Gomez or, or Robo left back, Virgil left um left centre back, and then either Ibu or Matic right centre back, and then Trent right back. Trent is the weakest defender of those, so why wouldn't you attack him? I agree. He's, the he's he's hands down the weakest defensively. It's not even close. But he's and I'm and I'm yeah, not saying yeah, that I'm not saying that on occasion teams don't. That's not. I what think I'm it's saying. every week it happens, bro. But in my opinion, when Trent's not playing, we still get attacked down our right side more than we do our left, regardless of who's playing there. No, you're right. So I think it's I, because teams have better mm. left wingers than they do right wingers, and you but, naturally but they use assess more themselves. Strength. But no, how much joy do they say? get? Because when Bradley was playing, he, and look, I'm not even taking the mick, even when Jones was playing today to an extent. You stole my point still. Burnley no, but again, kind of but, but, Burnley kind but, of but that's, but that's, right. that's, that's right. not the that's not when the Bradley was making. there. The point I'm what making is, yeah, people think we get attacked down that side because it's literally Trent. And I'm saying, no, I, I believe that it becomes a little bit of that, but it also becomes it's drift. because everybody's left winger is their best no, but winger. Drift, drift. And Whether... therefore they attack down that side more naturally. I'll say this, yeah. If you're a scout for the opposition team, yeah, and you might say to yourself, okay, which side is Liverpool's <clears throat> side, which you think is the strongest? Teams are going to look at that. They're going to look at all of our defenders, they know the profiles, they know the tendencies. Trent inverts. So they already know, all right, Trent, so, so Trent's inverting. So it's not necessarily like you're saying, Jif. So I agree, I agree with you both. It's not even about Trent. It's about when we invert, they know Trent goes inside. And when we have to get back into shape and they hit us on the counter, they'll go down that side because Trent inverts. If it was Arsenal, it'll be their left side. Zinchenko inverts. So they'll think, okay, on the counter, there's a possibility <clears throat> there could be a bit more space. They go to a back three. The defenders have got a space out, yeah? Why am I doing this like I'm doing a thing? But, but, all, <laughs> but what I'm going to say is this, though. It makes sense, though, what Carl's saying. You look at Liverpool and you, even I will go, you go down that that side, like you, you go down that side because one, they invert on that side, and secondly, out of all the defenders that we have, and they're all great, it's not even a disrespectful thing. But Trent's not, he's not the strongest. He's arguably he, he didn't really the weakest today, out of all this, out of all the defenders yeah, no, that we that. have. I understand. You know that. I'm that, that's why I think it's a 50 50 Because as an example, mm. we play Arsenal. Martin Lilly does really well up against them, right? And everybody would turn around and go. Oh, he got cooked. It was like Arteta, oh, brilliant. He, he, he targeted, da, da, da. But then if you watch Arsenal tomorrow, Martinelli will be cooking whoever the player is there because he's one of their best players and they go down that side a lot. But we get defensive of it when it's against us. But yeah, watch yeah, Arsenal yeah. every week. Martinelli is always the outlet and cooking and playing well. Do you get what I mean? It's, it's not Arteta goes, right, it's Trent. Go and do it. It's like, no, Martinelli's one of my best players, so I use him in that way all the time. So I'm just saying, it's 50-50. Yes, I do believe he's targeted to a degree, but I also believe that a lot of teams use that side of their attack all the time in all the other games. So if you go and watch the other games, it's not just because Trent's there while they're doing it. They do it because that's their best way to attack within their own system. So I just think it's 50-50 because they attack that a lot down that side when Ibu's playing. And Ibu's a monster of a defender. So I'm just saying. 
You know what I mean? I, I personally think it's 50-50. I think they do think of Trent to a degree, but I also think they use their strength and go down the side that has their best winger or whatever you want to call it. So I think it's a 50-50. Yeah. Also, yeah, just quickly cool. as well, just to kind of go off subject, yeah. Big up to everyone in the chat. I see a few yeah, people yeah. just being shit. I just want to. I just want to. I'm just going to say one. I'm just going to say one <laughs> yeah. thing. There's one person on the screen. He goes by the name of Jersey Boy. This guy is Professor Xavier. Yeah. When I tell you from now, people don't understand what this guy does for this Trust channel. Trust me. So I just want to show him love and respect each and every time. Yeah. You we would have. Really we to, some of the things that we him. do. Yeah, people need to be careful what they say because if not, I'm just gonna block every. I don't yeah, care if there's really two people. Really in it, I'll block like each that. and every one of you. I'm not having it. So remember, respect people. I know 99 percent of you have love and support, but I do. I just seen some trolls, and I'm like, nah, 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 not today. Let's I don't. Know. I don't even understand it. Like, no, on, no, no, there's, a, there's, there's one or two, this there's, thing. There's let's, one let's or two making it, jokes. Don't get me. Don't, there's one or two making jokes, but there's a couple. Or a few just yeah kind of yeah you, people like, make jokes for the time but he made jokes about media yeah. but let's just not be disrespectful yeah. this man's don't, don't think because someone's don't quiet they're not contributing let's not do exactly. that oh well, oh one hundred facts like you have no yeah, idea it, it, the amount of stuff he does behind you have the scenes no idea channel, bro. so 100%. let's not do that people and please let's not do that again like we've built this community or we've tried to build this community to be respectful and and banter yep. and banter and have laugh and joke but we're not gonna step over the line like we will just block people so we'll leave that there Facts. people um should we jump into player ratings or in fact jersey boy in fact i'll come to you next because you obviously I was, I was want... we've got two supers quickly that i thought big up big up <laughs> in gum shield we move big up i'm not even gonna lie you know the, the, the gum shield things did you see when he had all the blood in his face today yeah, after yeah, yeah. the elbow he must have been glad yeah, he had yeah, the yeah. elbow um had the gum shield like, in. When he took Endo that elbow just the came back, you know. Yeah, he's a warrior, man. Boy's a warrior. He just came back, you know. Clock was like you're playing. Um, the red guy says, I think we need to ease up our title expectations. Don't say that around Cal. No, do you know, um, can, can we speak about it on Monday? Can we speak about it on Monday? We can speak I, about that anytime you want, bro. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna have an honest, <laughs> I'm gonna have an honest conversation about that. I am. But I just, I need to... Uh, are you slowly out, coming break. around to the... Are you, are, you re are you reeling it in? No, F that, bruv. All day, bruv. <laughs> no, oh, but, okay, I was thinking what type of conversation also, you're having on Monday. I'm also bro. going to... I'm going to explain some of my reasonings behind some of the things I, I think as well. But I, I need to figure out how I'm going to explain it properly. So okay, I, may okay. even do a, I may even do a separate video on it outside of Monday rather than... Because it could take up a, a portion of Monday show, which might not be necessary for, for some people as well. So... I love like a little thing, you know. It's just, yeah, it's just. But really yeah, cool. anyway, I've sent you man some articles behind the scenes about what Man City and what Pep's been. Yeah, doing. Oh, you yeah. see the one I sent you. You see the one I sent today. Just, just know, just know, yeah, Drifty. He was one of the first people to call out my man. Just know, in it. Just know, right. I'm my man. What's what's my man from the boys? <laughs> he wants to take down the thing. That's oh. me. In it. <laughs> That's me in it. Do you know what? Do you know? Do you know what is going to be funny if all of this does get revealed to be true? Because at the moment, I still ain't going to speculate. <laughs> right, you're <an> idiot, <laughs> I'm. I'm still not going to speculate until I actually know they're guilty. Because I am one of them people who's innocent until proven guilty. People. I don't speculate. Do <laughs> no, 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 bro, no, bro. Come on, we ca we can't just literally do the. We know you're guilty, and we haven't actually had the proof. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, 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 I, we have to I'm gonna say what? Energy, bro. We have to. We have no, no, no. Wait, to. wait, Until wait. It's I'm gonna say proven in court. We have to keep that energy, bro. Otherwise, I'm going to say no, no. Otherwise, we can't have. We can't be annoyed when people get. Wait there. No, no, wait there. Wait there. Wait there. I'm saying no, no. Wait there. Wait there. Wait there, bro, bro, bro. I say one thing. I'm gonna read a headline. I'm gonna read this headline. This is in 2017. BBC. Manchester City broke anti-doping rules three times in less than five months. That is on the BBC. Manchester City broke the Footballing Association anti-doping rules three times in less than five months, the governing body has said. I'll leave it there, fam. Drift, yeah, you, what called him, you called him a name earlier, bro. Mm. <laughs> no, I know. Him. Look, I, you know, before I go off, I just want everything in place. That's brother, all go I'm off, bro. It's already in place. <laughs> before I go off, I just want everything in place. But anyway, what I was going to say, because we don't want to start talking about them, man. Yeah. No, all course, the man. laughing at Klopp leaving. Time. Our time. All, all the laughing at Klopp leaving. All the smugness. All the things that they do. 
if it comes crashing down, oh, we will be there. Oh, we will be there. And if it does happen, I suggest every single Man City fan get off media. I'm not just social. Get off media. I ain't going to save them. I've got phone numbers. Switch off your telly. Switch off your radio. <laughs> don't have anyone having any access into your house electronically. Nothing. Because it's about to be peak if this is what we think it could be. But I still want to wait before I go fully off. But anyway. So we don't have the capacity. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, Jersey boy, let me come to you, bro. You watched the game of drift um live on the watch along. What were the what are the things that stood out to you the most from an attacking standpoint from Liverpool? Even though our three strikers scored a goal today each, there still didn't seem to be that cohesiveness. What do you think was the reason for that? You think about the whole game or half? First half. Uh just got a whole game. Well, I thought the final third today wasn't as good. I'm not sure why that is. Um, but as soon as you saw Harvey come into the picture, coming to midfield at half time, we looked completely different. And I think we are missing the attacking eight midfielder, as in a Dominic Shabozdai or Elliot. And I really do think when we play the three midfielders without like an attacking eight player, you can see the first half, we didn't have Elliot. There was no Dominic. There was no attacking eight. Obviously, and McCallis has played that before for Brighton, but he's playing much deeper for us. And mm. what I noticed is with Trent not playing as well, for me, he's clearly still injured. From what I saw mm. against Arsenal, I believe we rushed him back early or maybe mm. the medical department got it wrong because he's clearly not fit. Today, not fit again. Right. Someone in the chat said apparently he's re-injured his knee. If that is true, and we've got still no oh. body, we should have to be Gomez and right back against Brentford. Yeah, apparently Klopp's confirmed it. Yeah, so it's another and injury. He, he, had a knee, he had taping around his knee from the start of the game. So he did really have tape. That, that I know. For me, that. Is, I, I don't understand why we are playing. I understand why we're playing Trent because we have we have no choice because he'll have to be either Jones or we'll have to be Trent. Or you could play Ender there, but we had we had no no choice. But against Arsenal, I think we did have a choice because Gomez was available. You could have played Gomez there. Today he's clearly going to be out, so it means now against Brentford we're going to have um, Gomez a right back. Hopefully, if he's not sick. But the huge problem now with Trent not playing as good, I think that kind of impacted the play because we had no creativity. Because Trent's clearly injured, not playing as well. But as soon as Harvey came on and Jones played hybrid right back, inverting, we look so much better. And I really do think when and Dominic is not available, I want to see Elliot play more. Because Elliot today showed what he's about. You know, another thing as well, Jersey, to, to your point that I think kind of went over people's heads a bit. It wasn't even just about Elliot coming on and how well Elliot played. It also meant that McAllister switched to his natural position, which is the left of the eight and not the right of the mm, eight. Yeah. I think a lot of people are sleeping on, like, it can be a lot different in your performance depending on what side of the pitch you're playing on. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So because Jones was occupying the left like he always does, McAllister on the right maybe was struggling a little bit with that as well as adapting to being an eight for the first time for us. Soon as he went over to the left and Elliot was on the right, it became a little bit more natural for McAllister and then even his game got better. So it wasn't even just about how well Elliot was playing. McAllister started to play better mm -hmm. as well. And then the crazy thing is, Endo started to sweep up even better in the second half. Like, he was happy with what was in front of him more as well. It was like the whole midfield naturally just went up one level or maybe even more just with the, the positional switch, not even just the personnel switch. Do you get what I mean? So I think that was, I think that kind of went a bit unnoticed. But yeah. It was a good second half compared to the first, for sure. Completely agree. Um, one quick question, guys, before we do play ratings. And then guys, if you haven't already, please do smash the like button. Also, subscribe to World of Football, Jersey Boys channel. So, you, you know what? On, on that, Cal, sir, just quickly, because I don't think a lot of people realise, within the algorithm of YouTube, guys, 
Over a thousand likes is when the video starts to be pushed and promoted. Under a thousand is when it still struggles a bit to find in that it finds itself into the algorithm. It's kind of why you hear a lot of content um, creators actually use it as a yardstick for what we ask for. And I know like it seems petty, but guys, in order for the video to be pushed, for you to help us the way you love us, that like helps it to get the algorithm out so that more people can find us so we can grow the community. So please That's don't true. underestimate how much hitting that like button helps. Tax. And I went through our list and we don't hit a thousand likes on so many videos that have 15,000, 20,000 views. Guys, how can that many people not be hitting the like button? Come on, yeah. guys. Like, if we got 20,000 views on a video, it should really have 10,000 likes. At least half of you, man, have got to like the video. Do you know what I mean? Come on. You got to just press a button, you know? Boom. Press a button. Bang. That's it. Press Cartel one button. button. Uh -huh. So big up. Touch up. You know Touch I mean? a button. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But yeah, so. Please don't underestimate. That's and that's why that's why all YouTubers do say, guys, hit the like button. It's not like we're just saying it for a cliche or it's like it really pushes the algorithm. So come on, guys, hit that like button, man. Let's have one video for a change where like we literally have the same yeah. amount of likes as views. You know them ones like imagine that just same amount of likes as views. That'd be crazy. That'd how be about, mad. How about this one? How about this video, guys? Let's smash the like button, man. Facts. Well That'd said, Drew. Um, question I wanted to ask you guys, let's not spend too long on it. Um, and then we'll do player ratings. Trent, Sabozlai, Thiago, all recently come back from injury, mm. all re-injured, and we're not knowing how long they're going to be out for. <laughs> is this a medical issue or medical team issue, or is this a management issue whereby he's being told they might not be fully ready and he's going, yeah, they can do it, or is a medical team just screwing it up and going, yeah, yeah, no, he's ready, and then Klopp's playing them, and Klopp's just like, well, you said he was ready, what's going on? Like, or is it six or one, half a dozen, or the other? What are we doing? I think it might be six or one, half a dozen, or the other. I don't think you can truly put your finger on what it could be. I don't. Um, but it is a little bit annoying. It is a little bit annoying. I think it could be the style of play. Which, to be fair, has got us a, got us the success we've had, so we can't really be angry at it. But at the same time, it could be part of that. I think you look at the the Sobersley, um situation, for example. The guy's had two injuries his whole career and only missed like a week or two weeks of football or something like that. And then he comes to Liverpool, and now he's been out for the longest he's been out in his whole career in one spell. Like we know it, though why we it know could why. Be, it could be a coincidence. It could be. But you do start worrying, is he overworked? Is it because the way Klopp Bro, plays he's, pushes he's, he's a lot of pressure on people? Like, mm. do you know what I mean? Like, there, there are some it things broke. to worry about, innit? There are some things to worry about. 10 games in, 11 games in, we kept on saying, this guy is ever-present. Like, you, he, mm. like, I'm not trying to say if someone's so important, you can't not play them. I'm just saying, like, if you're winning a game 3-1, and there's 15 minutes left, you can rest him. We kept on saying at the start of the season, give him a bit of rest, Klopp. He ain't, like, let him rest, but no. One thing I will say, though, as a caveat to when we're trying to think, could it be that? At the same time, you look at some players in the league, like Bruno Fernandes, for an example, and he is literally one of the most energetic players I've ever seen in my life. And even if the system don't demand it, he runs all day, every day. I'm sure Who, he Bruno? always... I'm yeah. sure Bruno Fernandes comes off the pitch running the most kilometres every single game. And he ain't missed the game through injury for about five years. So I guess sometimes it is also an individual thing. I guess we can't always just go, oh, I've just been run though. a lot. I I'll say this about Bruno Fernandes. No, no, no. Injured. How you do your kilometres is very different. If you watch Bruno, Bruno's not a hustle and bustle type guy, in my opinion. Like, he I don't think across the pitch a lot, man. No, he bro, does. He's I... all over the place. Even if it's out of position, what... he's always no, sprinting. Go and watch bro, him, bro. He does if you work go hard. and watch that, if you go and watch Soberslai and go and watch Bruno, and you see, all right, so if you see the sprints that they do, sprints, individual sprints, yeah, Soberslai sprints, in my opinion, are way more intense than Bruno's. You'll see your Bruno. He'll, don't get me wrong. You're right, Jeff. He covers yards. But in terms of sprinting, ex, or should I say explosiveness? He, uh, he does sprint a lot, you know. If you go and watch Fernandez no, no. for the whole right, game, So I'll tell you what it is. I'll tell you what it is. I'll tell you what it is. I'm not saying <clears> Bruno <throat> don't do distance and don't do yards. He does. But I think there's a difference when it, when another player is more explosive. Soberslight is way more explosive than Bruno Fernandez. So you could cover the same yard yards, yeah? 
But if someone is more explosive, it's going to be more taxing on the person that's more explosive, bro. Could it? Because it's how to, they to are. A degree, to a degree, but your body can well? take what your body can take as well, though, right? Could it be so training Bruno as well? Bruno Fernandes is still like, I, I don't know. The, re the reason I say could it be training as well, because if, let's say, for example, Man United aren't training as intensely as we are. It's only one gate, one day a week where Bruno's running like a madman. Whereas if the training is intense five days out of the week and then there's mm -hmm. a game at the end, could that be just the body just being broken down and broken down? Like you, well, you yeah, see yeah, in other sports as well, like boxers and, and fighters, they started to ease back on sparring now because they're realizing the amount of damage you're taking in the lead up to a fight is causing even more damage in the actual fight itself. Could that be an issue as well, potentially? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It all plays. That's why I said, your Cal, to answer your point, is it six to one, half a dozen the other? Yeah, because I think there's many factors behind it. I don't think you can just point the finger at one thing. I think I think there's a couple things that can be factored in because we have some players in our squad, and again, that's why it could be an individual thing that are very resilient, you know, and and they they don't get that many injuries and they're playing in the exact same system. So you know, what I mean, that like Robo since Robo got it, how many people have ran more than Robo? Thank God, he, you know what I mean? His injuries haven't really been leg-related, like you've got the shoulder or whatnot, but yeah. you know what I mean? So maybe it is a ju it's just about you as the individual as well. So it's just it's just a combination of everything, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I hear it. Right. Let's do the player ratings, guys. So because there's four of us, what I might do is I might just ask the question and then you guys give the rating what? because otherwise... Yeah, yeah, one second, one second. It could be, yeah, it could be a thing where we may have two and two with the same ratings and then we can't really decide on a on a number. Oh, yeah, that's when we'll have to bring the people in then. All right, cool. Easy with that. Right, Kelleher, let's start with a goalkeeper. I'll go... I'm, I'm flirting between seven and a half and eight for Kelleher today. Oh, I'd have gone a bit higher than that. I was going to look at a nine, to be honest. Okay. He made a big save in the first half, big save in the second half. I think his distribution was really good throughout. Could have done mm. slightly better for the goal, which is why I'm not going to a 10 or, or 9.5. But, mm. I mean, I, I can't I, I think, think of the think... mistakes he made. No, it wasn't even necessarily about the mistakes. Just generally, overall, um, he did make those two. It, maybe it is the goal. I'm just thinking that he was very flat-footed for their goal. Could he have done better with that? Uh, it was a brilliant header, though, to be fair. I, I think he could have moved his feet quicker for the header. It, the header was excellent. I just it felt yeah. like he was a little static. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, he was like he was on his heels rather than his toes. Um, I'll go. I'll go eight. I'll go eight. I, I was, I'm thinking, can I push it to an eight and a half? What are you saying, Jersey boy? What's your rating for him? I'm going eight as well. I don't blame him at all for the goal, even though I think he could have done a little bit better. I think the main thing for the goal was the fact that O'Shea was the only one jumping. Yeah. It was him and Diaz, and no one else is. It, 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 it's literally as in he had an open net because he's the, he's the only one. And he, it is a very far away header, and it was top, top beans. And I think he could have a little bit better, but for me, I think Quivin did stop us from potentially drawing this game. So, mm. yeah, I'm I'm going to go with Drifty. I think I'm going to go eight as well. Mm. Cool. Um, so it's so eight for Kelleher. Do you know what? Okay, give him an eight and a half. There we go. Give, give him an eight yeah, and a half. He on. was good today. Let's do eight and a half. Let's do eight and a half. He was he was good today. He was good today. Um, Trent. I'm just going to go five. What are you saying, Jersey boy? This is a really hard one because for me, he was really poor, but also he was injured at the same time. Clearly injured. So on the benefit of the doubt, I am going to go with five. If he wasn't injured and he was genuinely just poor, I'd give him a four or maybe three, but because he, he's clearly injured, um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go five. Well, maybe five and a half. Because didn't he get? Did he? He got an assist today, right? For Jota. He got. He did the corner in it. It was his corner. Yes, yeah, so he got an assist. And I, I, I was gonna say. I was gonna say he was still doing some pretty good passing during the first half. 
So even though obviously he wasn't that good defensively, you know I'm gonna go, he was still doing some um, good passing. I'm gonna, so. I'm gonna go above average. I'm gonna go six. I'm just just on the basis that he did get this and he was making stuff happen. But other than that, he was he, he, he can't go any harder now because me he was clearly still injured. Oh yeah, yeah, no, definitely. And he was struggling a little bit of defending at times. But I'm I'm gonna go six. And the fact that he did get an assist and he was making some stuff happen, but it's still not another good game for Trent. Yeah. For me personally, I hear you. I I'm hear gonna you. go. Um, I'm gonna go five. Um, the assist. It was a very good corner. I don't. I don't want people to take credit away because it was a corner. Like he put the corner in a perfect area to attack and also made it very difficult for the goalkeeper. So the assist is very warranted. Defensively. For me, the goal that they scored, the corner that they got was because he was bad defensively. Um, some of his passing was good. Um, yeah, for me, it's a five. What I will say, though, if I'm not mistaken now, he has now become the top assist-making defender of all time in the Premier League, which to do that at the age of 25 from right back. And if I'm not mistaken, he's only six behind David Beckham was at this stage of his career or this age. When we use the words generational and wonder kid and all these things, they're thrown about. We genuinely have a generational talent who was a wonder kid and fulfilled potential and still has more potential to fulfill, in my opinion. So I don't want that to be lost on people, but I keep the same energy. I don't want to see my right back anymore. I just don't. I agree with you. If, if we get a new manager, he won't be played at right back. So you won't have to see it for much longer. We'd, we'd like to think so. You never know though. Matt. I, I, I know an Alonso or a De Zerbi or someone like that would use his creativity more in midfield. They wouldn't put him at right back. They wouldn't. Because they don't Andre. invert and they yeah. don't, you know what I mean? So they, they're, they're going to really be like, what's the point in him being there? Maybe wing back, but definitely not right back. I think what Kyle said is spot on. We know he's generational, but I do think it's that time where it's that crossover period where he needs to now just be a full-time midfielder. I'm surprised it hasn't happened already. I know Linders and Klopp are almost obsessed with his inverted thing, but bro, you have one of the best playmakers in world football and he just happens to play at right back. Trent Alexander-Arnold is so good on the ball that he can rival a KDB. That's how lethal this guy is, bro. He can rival any centre mid, in my opinion, when it comes to on the ball and what you can do and what you can create. He's that great. Now is the time. I don't think, unfortunately, it's going to happen under the Klopp Linders era because I do think that they're just going to continue with this until... The season's done, what what happens? But I do think the next manager, let's hope, let's say it is Alonso. I'm hoping can see it and go, I used to be like you. <laughs> In a sense of on when I've got the ball at my feet, magic happens. So what's your rating for him then, bro? Knowing that he had a knee injury and knowing that he still Got an assist today, if I'm not mistaken. If I check the stats correctly before I came onto the show, yeah, yeah, he now has, yeah, he it's now has 58 assists. That's the most out of uh, in defenders in Premier League history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still gonna give him because he got the assist. I didn't, I know he wasn't even 100 percent. Like a 6.5, seven. He, 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 I'll say 6.5. I say 6.5. Um, so, you know what, yeah, Kyle, I'm, re I'm remembering back some of the brilliant yeah, the crosses knee, passes man. that he was doing. So I'm going to bump it up to a six for my five. Uh, like, he was, we have to he respect the fact good passing today. he played injured. He's the vice captain. He took a lot of slack. No one is going to get slack because when people start talking about his defensive capabilities, right to tear, we understand that. He got an assist and not only that, he's hampered. Alonso. That's all I'm going to say. Mm. I think he deserves a 6.5. But again, if people want to downgrade his rating because he's not doing up what Connor Bradley's doing, you you do that in it. Mad thing. Mad thing. That was a game started, yeah? 
They call him Javi. Javi Alonso. <laughs> Where are you watching it, Drew? It's on Sky, bro. Sky. Oh. Is that Grimaldo who scored? Oh, what? Is Javi Alonso? Who are they playing? Bayern Munich, Bayern. bro. They're playing Bayern. You don't know, you don't know it's yeah, the big Leverkusen Bayern clash. No, bro. I knew the game was what? on. I, I didn't know it was on Sky. Okay, uh, I, knew, oh, I, I knew it was on Sky Sports. I didn't know it was on Sky, Sp Matt, Sky Sports. Oh, bro. wow. No, I didn't know. I didn't know it was the... You know what it is, bro? I'll it's be honest. It's, 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 it's Leib Kuzin. Well. Leib Kuzin don't get, don't get press pause like um yeah like Dortmund. You know, like if it was just... The, what do they call it? The super class? I can't remember what they call it. They don't get press the, like that. The classic or something yeah, like that. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. How dare someone call me a casual? How dare you? <laughs> wow. Do you? Public, hold on. Public set. I'm calling you by public sector direct, yeah? Who are you? What? Mike Ashley's henchman. Huh? <laughs> Sports direct b -Tex, What? Who are you, fam, to call me a casual? <laughs> Don't get me vexed, bro. Don't get me vexed. Um, yeah, no, I didn't really. He might be onto something. I didn't realize the game was on today still, but we move. So, it's a public sector. Come on, you know, so it's, you know, so it's like, bro. So, Jen, bro, what did you give Trent again? I gave him five, six, right? Six, six. Uh, cool. Six. Who's on my wave? 6.5. Drift, you're on my wave. I went six, bro. I went six. Sorry, Matt. What are you saying, Carl? What are you saying? I, oh, you're not gonna like me, Matt. I went. Well, no, what did you say? What did you I say? Said, I said five. Hey, right, Leverkusen in the dressing room before this game definitely had Rick Ross hustling, 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 <laughs> playing because <laughs> they are <laughs> they are roughing up Bayern. Are they bro. moving? Are they moving to Bayern? Yeah, they're moving to Bayern, bro. How oh. crazy would it be that Harry Kane goes to Bayern and might not yeah, win the trophy? Nah, dude. No, how, crazy I'm not, like, like, how, how crazy is that Bayern Munich have got Eric Dyer in their defense? What yeah. he's yeah. not he's starting, not yeah, brother. Starting, you, you're not bro. starting. Jersey you boy, know. can you please tell Sky Sports they've made an error? <laughs> bro, I what just I, saw his face, bro. Even, what I what? find even more funny is a former Bayern player scored the goal. Yeah, and he didn't celebrate. The former yeah, Bayern celebrate. player scored the goal. Who? Stanisic. Yeah. Um, Stanisic. He's a Croatian or a wing back. Yeah, they 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 definitely played every time out every day. He's, I'm he's, hustling, and he's on hustling, loan as well. How is he hustling, allowed to play? Oh, he's on loan. Oh, that's it now. He's on the I def I def like uh, we definitely to have to get Florian Verts um to come with Alonso if we get Alonso, you know. I'm actually shocked. Hey, right, bro, you never bro, don't Every do that. Day don't I'm do hustling, 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 Let's give we'll him let first. <laughs> uh, the, the only mistake Kwanzaa made today for me was when he headed it down instead of up and then it bounced off a of ring pong and then he the, the chance was created when Keller had to bail him out with a save. And obviously mm. it, it, it does go down as a mistake. But mm. other than that, I'll go eight for Kwanzaa. I think he was good today. Eight? Hey. Yeah, I hey. think he was good today. Yo. Mm. Okay, Matt. I think seven, I thought it was good. I did think he was a, a little bit shaky. I think, and that's no shade on him. Like Drew said, there's definitely a reason why teams attack that side. That, that, that defender has to do a lot more. He got tested a lot more. So I'm going seven for Kwanzaa. But I was going to say 6.5, but I thought... Rotted. Low like No, no, I, I said I might be seeing Drift later. So I said, yeah, let me just change that. Yeah, I'll say seven. Every day I'm hustling, hustling. I say seven. Lord. I I was gonna go six point five. I swear, is that you I do you, you lot. Do oh, you, man. <gasps> Pink, so, happy man. What, what a ball, man. And said, do you? You know, um, Jersey boy. What are you saying for Kwanzaa? What did you say again? Um, what was your I one? Six, drift I said six. Point I, five. Oh, drift. Drift said eight. eight. No, but remember, drift can have like a very. Just no, I think I think he had a good game. View. I'm really surprised that Matt, you don't think Matt, that he was average. What did you, what did you, what did I you said, Jersey, but I said I said seven. I said seven. I thought it was good. 
but he did make a mistake though, and he was a lit not shaky. But shaky everybody makes word. mistakes. I'm gonna, gonna go. No, I'm, I'm gonna. Not, I'm not, gonna go with Cal. I'm gonna go with Cal. Six what, and a half. What, what's that? Six, Six and a half. Uh, if, uh, you know what? If you, uh, if you, uh, I'll be real. Yeah. If you, if you man doing it, I'll do it as well. Six point five. <laughs> I have to change. The rest, so. <laughs> oh, I'm not to save. You're not making me do a dark night thing. I've got to pick the location because I can't be in all three at the same time. <laughs> um, <laughs> I done told you, bro. My uh, ringing all that stuff's activated from when I said stuff about Nunes, bro. I've got some of the highest security you can imagine, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro I'm trying to say, man's moving like Tony Stark. Bro, the moment you turn onto my road, bro, it's going to alert me, bro. <laughs> 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 um... Uh, Virgil. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to go nine for Virgil. I thought Virgil was brilliant today. I wouldn't have personally gone that high. I thought Virgil was very, very good, but I would have said an eight for Virgil, personally. I've gone eight for Virgil as well. Jersey, what are you saying, bro? I'm going eight as well, because he, he, I think he did make a he didn't make a big mistake in the first half. I was like, oh, what's he doing? But that was the only bad moment of him the entire game. It was one moment. And they didn't score from that moment. The rest of the game, he was really good. So I'm going to give him an eight. But I did think he, he did nearly cost us in, in the first half. Robbo. Oh, Robbo's a techie one. Robbo didn't... Mm. I'm going to go seven for Robbo. I'm going to go yeah. seven and a half. I thought Robbo was solid today. First game back, first start back, wasn't it? I, mm. I thought he was solid for a first start back to be honest. I'll go seven and a half for Robbo today. I would say I... seven for Robbo, personally. What you saying, was Jack, good. Bro. I'm going same as Drifty. I'm going seven. I'm going seven and a half. Just I thought this is I'm the going seven. best of Robbo I've seen in a long time. I'm seeing a few eights for Robbo here, so I'm going to push it to a seven point five because me and Matt both went seven and Jersey Boy yeah. Drift both went um, seven. seven. Fair play. Mm-hmm. Fair play. He was good today. He was good today. He was good. He was good today. You're right. He was good. He was. He played way better second half. But he started to do overlap thing. He 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 was playing within himself. I felt a little bit personally. Do you know what? No, no, no. I think he deserves that eight. You know. I'm thinking about it. He even made some brilliant runs. Got a shot off. He was putting it. No, Robbo was actually really good today. You know. I think he does deserve an eight. You know. I kind of think he does deserve an eight. There was even a point where he swapped over to the other flank and was making a tackle on the right side. Then got back into the left. Back position again after mm. like I thought Robo he, he does deserve an eight, you know. Robo I'll, move, my, I'll move mine to an eight as well. I'm moving mine. I didn't think he was really good. It's the still best thing I've ever done. He's gonna say it's still the same unless me and Kyle change. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's keep it. No, it stays at a seven and a half because yeah. of the party poopers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh right, that's all right. <laughs> um, so I tell yeah. you what. I'm just going to be, I'm going to confess something. So obviously, Drift, you remember in the preview, I said I would probably give Kelleher a start in this game. Not to drop Ali, but just saying, if there's a game yeah, you can start yeah. your backup goalkeeper. See, when I saw his name on the team sheet, I was so close to being shameless until I realised Ali had flu. When I saw the bench, <laughs> I thought Ali went there. I was about to get in my shameless bag. I was about to it's get mad though, mad. isn't it? Because that's, that's how important Ali is though. The, 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 but the we rate Kelleher, is... but... Yeah, that's the thing. I said it to Jersey during the game. Kelleher is a yeah. quality goalkeeper. He is. But, but the assurance Ali gives you, you of see Ali the confidence is... level of the team is just different. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. so hard to explain. But yeah. it like you don't even feel like Kelleher's going to let you down. You just don't feel... You know what it's like? It's like you've got two older brothers. Kelleher is the older brother that's only one year older than you. So he's still your older brother. But the, older, the, the, the oldest brother's like five years older than you. So if you're going to a fight... And you got the one that's only a year older. You still feel like oh, I got my brother, but you wish your big, big brother was there. Do you get know what I'm saying? It's like because if he was here, things would be getting handled. With this brother, we're almost the same age. Like might be a bit of a mad thing. It's, it's, so that's kind of the feeling I get when Ali's playing. But um, yeah, shout out Keller today. He's still good today. Yeah, no, he yeah, was, he was, he was. Um, with Tara, or should I say, Cal Taro Wendo. <laughs> See, this is the thing. So I just want to know if people are going to keep the same energy because yeah, I on. think that um, Wataru is, is one of the con- uh, candidates for Man of the Match. He was absolutely brilliant. But if we're going to use the metric of what I've heard some people doing, for example, and I'm just using it because it's him, I'm just saying like the mistake Kwanzaa made, for example, and it was very much highlighted by all of you in your assessment of him. 
Endo was the one who was spun and lost his man for their goal. Right, Driss really doing So that all now. I'm saying is, no, I'm right. because I just want energies to be kept the same. Right, Driss got a point. Driss got a point. I'm ju I just want energies to be kept the same. Because Kwanzaa's mistake never led to a goal and Endo's mistake did lead to a it goal. It led to a mistake though. No, no, I'm not. No, but what I'm saying is, it was actually a very crucial mistake. They just never buried. I end up losing his man because at 1-1. One, one, yeah, you're right, though. You're right, though. We were, we were worried. Though. And it was, was the worst side, time to right. concede a goal. So what mm. I'm saying is, what are we going to do in that regard when it comes to the player ratings? Me no, personally... No, what are you going to do? What's well, your his, rating? No, bro? but I didn't really go in on Van Dijk and, and Kwanzaa overall when I was analysing their, their rating for me because of the one mistake they made each because mm -hmm. I think it's a bit harsh. So I'm not going to really go harsh on Endo for his mistake either. But I just thought I would say it to you guys because you lot made sure you fully involved it in your assessment when you was doing it. I'm going to go... I, I already know. I, I'm going to go nine and a half at Endo. I thought he was brilliant. Oh, wow. Nine and a half? Was, yeah. I've, without oh. that mistake for that goal be conceded, I'll be giving Endo a 10 today. I thought Endo would was you? brilliant. Yeah, I thought he had a he had a quiet first twenty minutes, but so did everybody. I'm not gonna lie, really. but first but half, I thought Endo I, like, he was yeah, passing. Endo got he was caught out a the few line. times, like and, uh, yeah, in the uh, first twenty minutes or so. But then after that, he massively grew into the game, and he was sweeping up all over the shot. I'm gonna go nine point uh, five for Endo today. Ah, uh, I may be the party people then, because I don't I don't know if everyone's gonna follow my 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 vibe, but. I, I, I know what Drift means because Endo was key today. Um, and he did make a mistake. Drift is 100% right, just like how Kwanzaa made. They both made mistakes, innit? It's, it's part of football, it happens. But I, would, I wouldn't have gone as high. I For me today, I would have said Endo was like, he's either 8 or 8.5. What would I say Endo was, if I'm being real? Because he kind of... Be, uh, I'll say 8.5 for Endo today. I, I've got the same. I've got 8.5. I don't think he was great in the first half. I thought he was brilliant in the second half. But if I'm balancing second half, yeah. Off, I think 8.5 is fair. I, I, for me, 9.5, if you're playing DM and you're playing as a 9.5, then you you, sh you have to have a good 90 minutes. And I don't think he had a great 90 minutes. I think yeah. he had a great 45 and an okay 45. So I'll I, say think it, had, yeah, I think yeah. he had a great 70. It's only the first 20 minutes, 20 minutes when he looked a bit shaky to me. After that, I think he, he was brilliant. So I think he was out of position quite a bit in the first half, you know, Drew. He yeah, got but that wasn't his, that wasn't his fault. Well. That was because the midfield was disjointed due to everybody trying to get used to each other and, and whatnot, whatnot. So I'm not going to hold it against him. McAllister was not out of position in the first half, though. But he was but he was out of the game in that first 20, 25 minutes McAllister as well. I think he was struggling to get used to playing. But I thought McAllister was playing better than Endo in the... In the I thought McAllister... Whoa. Okay. I mean, look, do you... We'll, we'll talk about McAllister. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk about... Yeah, 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 yeah. Do your team. What, yeah, um, yeah, what's your rating, Jersey boy? I thought... I'm, I'm, I think I'm on the same boat as you uh, to uh, Kalama Matt. I do think that a lot of players didn't play that well in the first half. I think um, it's been, it would be a long time since Endo and Mac played together, and there was clearly the midfielder not playing a long, long, long time. Um, so there were clearly some little problems in the first half. But I think in the second half, we saw the Endo we've been seeing the rest of the season being our best midfielder. Um, so I'm going to go 8.5 as well for me. Yeah. Um, Jones, who started as a eight and then ended the game as uh, as mm. right back. I'm going to go right nine right. for Jones. Another contender for man of the match for me. Jones is brilliant. Um, I agree. I thought Jones, I thought Jones was amazing in terms of started as an eight, left side at eight and then had to do right back and Jones had no issue. And I know maybe the attack slowed down but even when he was in possession, he knew what to do, right time, tactical intelligence as well, wasn't out of position, knew when to um, get rid of the ball as well. Bro, John, I, I, <coughs> say you said end of mind, I'm at, I thought Curtis Jones. The, 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 spoiler, no, that's what I said. I, I, said, that, I, I said those are those are two out of the three contenders for me. Um, I, 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 I believe Jones. that I believe Jones gets slept on for his actual in-game intelligence. I, I think he very much gets slept on. 
He's like, a very couple of years ago, footballer. if someone would have said to me, Jones would have played right back, I would have said, what, what do you mean right back? Yeah, yeah. I would have generally just been like, are you chatting rubbish? I'm I'm gonna I thought... I'm gonna make a bold statement here. Jones for me feels like this team's version of when Henderson was at his peak. Whereas Liverpool fans, we fully see what he doesn't appreciate him, but from the outside fans are like, You not still start Curtis Jones sent in midfield. Like he's that guy at the moment. He's, he's, he's actually you know what you, you you do actually he's notice some of the rival fans clocking on to his ability now actually though you know very if few you, though very if few you, if, if, if you if you it's talk to the level headed fans they do actually mm. realize how good he is they do if you're going to talk he's to the, the people glue, who just want to banter all day you're right Cal because they're never going to want to give that credit anyway but you speak to level headed rivals and they will actually tell you they do see what Jones what Jones does so yeah I, I think it depends who you're talking to but. He, he 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 has actually been a, a an amazing player for us. Um, this Agreed. season, I think Jones is the glue in our midfield. I think he knit things together. Whether you want to say he's our new Gini Adam, like I don't even want to say new. He's just Curtis Jones and he does his thing. So let me just say this. Mm. But he's the, as things stand right now, him, he arguably is Liverpool's most important midfielder because he knit things together and he's the glue. He almost like. I'll be honest, Liverpool's best midfield this season, well, whoever you put alongside him, Jones has to be there. I have to keep it a buck. Have to keep it a buck. I think, and he's going to, I know people are going to come from in this. I think Endo's our most important midfielder. I think Curtis Jones is our best midfielder this season. I disagree with you. No, that's cool. I, I, like, I'm because I think McCallum, you see, you see, as, as well as Endo's played, I feel like, we could still do a madness with McAllister, a Soberslight, and a Jones. Yeah. As much as you can put an Endo in and then put in whoever. But you see Jones. Jones has to be there because Jones has a skill set that none of the others have. So Endo and McAllister can both win jewels. And what's so mad is, you say an Endo, but the, the, what's so mad is, I don't think I've seen Endo have a game like a McAllister in the DM spot. As even though I do think no, uh, no, Endo, he has, no, bro, he has, he has, yeah. you know. But let me know, let me know, no, let me know what I'm gonna say. Endo is a better DM than McAllister, right? Mm. But I guarantee you, if we look back at the player ratings, McAllister has probably had higher ratings at a DM spot, especially over this last span that he's had. You man were going crazy when McAllister, especially Drew, Drew, we we'll was talking about McAllister highly, highly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Remember, like, I would like say DM is on no, no, but McAllister's been knitting it together. And even though we've missed Endo, yeah, who have we missed more? Curtis Jones? No, I, I'm, I'm in Endo agreement that McAllister's our most important midfielder um, and Jones is, has been the best. I agree with you on that. But I do think, I you're, being Endo, dis, but, I do think you're being disingenuous yeah. to say Endo hasn't had performances like McAllister because before no, no, the no, Asia no. Cup, okay, let me, he right, was let me balling out it. a DM. No, 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 but so let me I think you're being it. disingenuous saying No, no, no. What I'm trying to say is this, though. What I'm trying to say, let me rephrase it then. Endo has been, like, since he's found himself, Endo's been amazing. But what I'm going to say is this, though. Since McAllister's understood what the six is, McAllister's been balling out. If we, if I go if I go and I don't want to do statistics, <clears> but I might have to. Statistically, there was one game when McAllister was off the charts, bro. Most um, um, uh, Jules won. Um, most most um, ball recovery. Like I've never seen Endo do that personally on a statistical level. Maybe yeah, on the you, item when we just if, gone, if you go and look at the few games where where before he went to the Asia Cup, I think he was putting mm -hmm. in some of those times. No, but I'm saying statistically, bro, 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 bro. no, I'm yeah, saying he, McAllister was doing it. Like, no, but I'm saying statistically, McAllister's actually been arguably our highest performing midfielder. You know? Yeah, I think McAllister is the most important. I agree with that. I think him and Jones is a toss up between who you think's the most important, uh, McAllister or, or Jones. So yeah, I don't that's think what I'm Endo saying, is but as Endo, That's but... why I disagree. I rate Endo, and I and I've and I've actually changed my opinion on Endo. But what I'm mm. saying is, I think it's either McAllister or, or Jones more so than Endo. Even though, in a weird way, Endo brings balance to the team. That's why I slightly contradict myself because I understand what Carl means, mm. but I just look at it and go, we can't we can't have a Liverpool midfield without McAllister and and Jones, which is mad. Mm. It's a nice headache for Klopp to have in the short time that it he's It is, here. bro. It is. Um, 
So that leads us nicely on to... Sorry, Jones, what are we giving? I'm giving Jones a 9.5, by the way. Yeah, Jones is a bad man. I gave him a 9, yeah. I gave I'm a 9 as well, man. To play midfield, look one of the best midfielders in the first half, second half as well, and be right back and look solid. It's weird because we look more... The thing about Jones, we look more defensively solid when we had Jones at right back than with Trent. Yeah, it's weird Trent though because I feel like still, we look much. I feel like they stopped the attacking back. though. Yeah, I agree with you, Jersey boy. I agree with you though. I agree. With you. So we're going with nine for Jones. Nine, nine yeah, nine. Uh, McAllister. Hmm. I actually don't think um, a great game today. Funny you say that. I was just bringing him up. No, no, number he eight. Big up. No, he deserves to be picked up regardless. In the number game. eight role, I'll say this, which is really weird. He's played better in the six. It's I think, he, I think Drift made a really good point, though. He started as a right eight and then moved to a left eight. Yeah. I keep on saying this, and I'm not even trying to be petty when I say this. I feel as though whoever's playing right centre midfield with Trent there at the moment or this season has That's suffered a little lot. bit. They have to do a lot, in it? They have to do a hell of a lot. So I, it's, 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 yeah, it is a bit... It is a, it is a bit slightly unfair to say just with Trent because I think it's just the way we play as well. Our our overall system of how we play makes that side more strenuous to play, and I don't think it's just Trent. But he didn't when Bradley was there, and arguably when Gomez. But, played, but remember, when Bradley was playing, we weren't inverting from the right. That's we right. So from that's the left. Like, yeah, but so we have we have inverted with Gomez. Case. We have inverted with Gomez playing there sometimes, and the right centre midfielder hasn't suffered as much. I kind of think they have, but Gomez is just playing so well at right back, it covered it. But so I still my, don't think the right point. sided eight was playing well. Even we when missed Joey, Joey was today. I can't even lie. We missed so Joey here's today. the thing when, when Trent inverts and Joey inverts, they both play more in field. The difference is Trent, when he inverts, effectively has a free role. Like he can go anywhere on the pitch he really wants to, whereas Gomez, I don't think, has that license because he's mm. not as good a footballer as Trent. So I think that's I, what I mean. Is. Maybe he na maybe he doesn't have a free role, but he just gets away with it because he's so creative. Oh, maybe, maybe. But yeah, for me today, I'd go seven for mm, seven for Maka. I'll say oh, seven. I oh, wait, we on Maka. I would have got yeah. seven yeah, and yeah. a half for McAllister today because he really <laughs> started the second half. He really started to get uh, yeah, in he, a weird way in the second half. He started to play like double pivot with with Endo. Like yeah, I saw yeah. him drop he deep. Kinda did, yeah. He yeah, kind of did, yeah. Yeah. So then my I think, there, he, I like, think nah. he's naturally just used to it as well now, isn't it? Bro, it's like he has to unlearn it because I swear, mm -hmm. McAllister was like saying to Endo, "I'm the six. Endo was like, "I'm the six. No, I'm the six. Like mm -hmm. them, man were trying to. They so, make a good yeah. pivot though. They do make a good Hundred. pivot. Yes, they too. do. Yeah, they do. For seven for McAllister, then Jersey boy, what are you saying, bro? I'm, I'm going seven as well, man. Seven. Yeah. Sevens or well, sevens mainly. Um, Jota played right wing today predominantly. Yeah, I'm gonna go quite low for Jota compared to what I normally would because I don't think he quite got in the game today. Um, I'll probably go for I'll probably go six and a half for Jota today. Yeah, I thought Jota's passing was bad today. He was hustling, uh, but I think his passing was bad today. What did you give him? Uh, oh! Oh, my God. Uh, I'll be honest. Is it him? Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. This Alonso thing is getting me mad. Um, well, sorry, Jeff, I, you, gonna, you... I, I'll just be straight with you guys. For me, all the front three get a 6.5. What? No, that's a bit. No, nah, you're moving mad, bro. I can't even what? lie. You're moving mad. <laughs> I'm not moving mad. Hold on. One second. One second. One second. 6.5 for all three. Yeah. So, Jota. I thought Jota was good. Hustle and bustle, but certain things didn't work. I would say seven. Because you got to remember as well, Jota's the king, king in the air. Even though the goalkeeper makes a mistake. You know, on another day, someone don't even make that leap. Someone don't even take that chance. Remember, the goalkeeper is ahead of Jota. Jota actually gambles and thinks, if he misses this, this is mine. Not mm. only that, there was a pass. He made some good passes, but um, like no one might not finish off the move or whatnot. But I thought Joe was good. 
You're telling me 6.5? I, 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 you can you, you can stretch it to a seven definitely. I'm Matt. saying seven. I'm saying but I, I think, thought it was good. I, 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 but, but his passing was what was just annoying like, about yeah. today. His part, passing part, was his passing it, was it, like it, atrocious it, enough. Oh, all right, hold no, on, guys. It kind of was. Poor right, let me justify passing, myself for Jota. And again, I'm speaking as one of Jota's biggest fans here. There was a chance where Jota had the ball and he could have squared it across the um, squared it across to Virgil and he didn't, and then nothing came of it. There's another chance where he could have passed it across the box, I think, to Nunes. He didn't. You're thinking he... about Diaz, bro. No, I'm not, bro. I, I you know must what... be. I, no, no, not... John, I John, Diaz... John, no, you I know which Diaz one you're talking about. No, Matt, I know which Diaz one you're talking about when Diaz is running through and instead of doing the reverse, sorry, the forward pass to Nunes, he does to the reverse Nunes? pass to Jota instead. It takes a few more right. touches. I'll right. get on to that. There was another chance where the ball's come over and Jota could have um, brought the ball down and maybe crossed it back in. He shot with his left foot and just guided it. Passing, as Drift said, wasn't great from Jota today. He scored a very good header when the keeper like made a mistake. Apart from that, though, I asked you seriously, what else did Jota do today? Apart from the goal. Yeah, but you're pointing out, if you go through 90 minutes and you point out five bad things, but then I can point out, I'm just giving you an example. But that's why I'm asking you to point out the five good things. No, then. but yeah, but what Okay, are okay no, no, wait, all right, then, all right, then. so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So we're acting like Jota didn't hold up play on the right wing. Yeah, he was arguably our most alongside Nunes, our most in um uh what's the word I would use? Uh, Nunes was better than him today. I'd probably go seven for Nunes. Nunes was better than him today. I, I don't necessarily know if I say he was holding up play well all game, Matt, as well. I don't know, I don't know if that's true. Jota wasn't Am holding I up play well all game. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 Jota was better than New. Bro, hold on he a second. Better, he weren't better than no, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. What about the cross from? What about the cross from Trent? What did Nunes do? With the cross came for Trent, put him no. right in the money, and Nunes missed. Nunes done this, and missed the ball. What? I, I, I'll be honest. But I've another time, Nunes got the ball, could have played it. Um, oh, you don't have to, and, you have to he, put Nunes down if you were the big Jota. No, 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 no. no he's not not big he's also mentioned oh, Diaz. On, he also mentioned Diaz, so he's not just singling I'm out. Not, no, no, I'm not doing that. I'm saying, jo I'm just saying personally, I can think of more errors that Nunes make compared to Jota. So just this is just the cow's point. So all I'm saying is, <clears throat> is it, here's how you look at the game. If Nunes occupies the back four, people are gonna say work hard, right? Et, et, et. And fair enough. But I saw more errors on Nunes' part than Jota, in my opinion, today. And I think Jota done a bit more and was cleaner than Nunes. That's not a disrespect because you haven't even heard my rating. But I'm still going to stick with a seven for Jota, by the way. We'll get on to Nunes, but I'm sticking with a seven for seven, sorry, for, for Jota. Seven. What, what are you not saying? Point, I'm still sticking 6.5. I'm, to be I'm fair, when I'm gonna stick, I'm gonna, as well. I'm gonna stick with a six point five because even though um even though I don't think Jota was poor or anything like that, and obviously you are right about his goal, I just think that he made way too many bad decisions in his passing, and his passing was either too too powerful or not strong enough. And so I was just annoyed with his passing and his decision making. Um, so I'm gonna go six and a half for Jota. Jersey fair boy, fair. what's your rating, bro? I'm gonna go six and a half. Sorry, man. Right, oh, yeah, no, that's cool, man. <laughs> you, you man are on a Nunes gang thing. You no, no, I'm Nunes gonna say my Nunes piece and then switch off my camera. You man a Nunes gang oh, still, because even though Nunes got a no, no, sick no, goal, say what you want. No, I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say about Nunes. Switch off my camera and then just make sure the security is up. I didn't speak about Darwin because he scored a great goal. There's no denying. Right, oh, the header was scored header was peak. Goal. First but, half, he wasn't in the game at all. Like nothing was really sticking. Second half, he grew into the game, but again, so the, the chance he missed where he's side footed in the keeper made a save, I don't see that as an easy chance. I don't think that's one of, like that for me is one where you may you may say he could have opened his body out a little bit more, but that's fine, Mod. I don't think you can say that's an easy chance. The header he scores, that's not an easy chance, but he scores it. But again, he's he's missing one on ones. Like the one on one he had, you've got to slot that away. Like you just you you absolutely have to. And then the overall decision making of him sometimes again can still be a bit frustrating. Hence why I've still gone six point five with Nunes, even though I think he had a better game than Joe. I still think it's a six point five. I know apart, a lot of people apart, uh, apart from the goal, I don't think he did anything crazy that. 
that stood out. I don't like he, he was didn't hustle in there. He was the only like outlet. You see, like you said, he had a bad poor first half. This hustle and bustle thing. You said he had a poor first half, but he was the only one giving us an outlet when we were actually under pressure. I didn't say he had a poor first half, bro. You did. I said, you said I he wasn't know. in the game. He said he didn't do anything in the first half. That's different from being poor, bro. Well, what's the? I mean, what's the difference? I didn't. You didn't do anything technically. No, poor, poor is me it? saying you, bro. You've, you've had a stinker. You've made mistake after mistake. Or you're missing. No, one no, one that's, one that's, that's your shit. That's like anyway. Well, that's all right, poor. you did. Well, just because you're not so, in the game doesn't mean you played poor. So it, but I think he game. was in the game. He was the only one who was stretching the back line and giving us an outlet when we were under pressure, and he was being roughed up. By their defenders, he was getting no protection from our team or no backup from our team. Me and Jersey Boy were saying it so many times. Why is nobody there? Because he was actually doing a lot of good knockdowns. I don't know, if Jersey, you remember there was about two or three occasions when he, he was barely, doing some, he he was doing some good knockdowns. He barely and there was nobody who was and there was nobody that was like running, or even if or like him and the guy would be tussling and the ball would drop into an empty space. And it was like, why is there nobody that's like followed up to to, to back him up here? I remember there was a time when the ball got played over the top and he did a nice little header backwards and Jota actually stopped. And if Jota had kept going, Jota would have actually been in. And it was kind of uncharacteristic. So I think he was doing what he could with the scraps he was being given in the first half. And then in the second half, I thought he was really good in terms of like his, his, the team got better. So I think his passing and his link up and all that kind of stuff improved a bit. He was constantly the, the, the main threat. And yeah, I know the miss at the end was a was a bad miss because it was one on one. But at the end of the day, if people want to say, you know, let's have an assessment of a player in a real way, not like you know, just constant. Oh, who cares, man? He's always missing a rare, rare. Like that last one, I'm not even mad at him. Brilliant first touch. He's run his socks off all game. He was probably exhausted. I've been in that position myself when I'm running in on goal after running for a whole 95 minutes, and I'm knackered. It's hard to have like you know, a, a cool head and a sense of whatever when you're absolutely exhausted. But hey, he did miss it. And I definitely was annoyed because I you, you want those goals to go in. So I'm going eight for Nunes. I thought Nunes was very good today. I'm giving Nunes a seven. Um, <clears throat> he was good. Don't get it twisted. But even though I said he was worse than Jota in some aspects, um, <clears throat> he worked. I think he worked just as hard as Jota. Um, I also think as well in the first half, I don't think he held up the ball well. If you noticed as well, the defenders, even though I kind of understand what Jeff was saying, like they were roughing him up a bit, and not only that, petulance as well. Um, he there was a couple of times when they matched him, they matched his energy, and I don't think he liked that personally because Nunes wants to be that alpha when he's on the pitch and rare tear tear, like get in your face, and it wasn't really working. And I felt like he got more of his way in the second half. The, the goal I thought was a great goal, by the way, because that was not an easy goal. And if anyone else scores that, we, we rant and rave about it, especially a Jota, who we know is very, very good with the, with the, with the headers, pause. So we have to give him credit. But yeah, I'll say seven for, for Nunes. I'll, I'll say seven and I'll leave it there. Mm. Oh. I'm going to go a bit different. I'm going to go in between. I'm going to go seven and a half. Okay. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, Ibrahim, behave yourself, everybody. Behave yourself, mate. Yeah, he's, he's been sorted out. <clears throat> um, okay, fair enough. What did, what did you give him, Jersey? Seven, did you say? Seven and a half. Seven, seven. What did you give him, Cal? Six and a half. Yeah. And you gave him seven as well, Matt, yeah? Yeah, I gave him seven, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So was he, was he, was that round him up at seven? Yeah. Well, seven point two five effectively, but we don't have that. So. <laughs> um, you sure? I reckon we'll have that by next week. <laughs> we better not, bro. Um, <laughs> uh, Diaz. I like uh, Diaz today. I know. He, I know he can be frustrating, but again, I think he was he was arguably one of the only threats in the first half. Decision making sorry. was getting a little bit annoying, but. Sorry, Drift. When I hear things like frustrating and causing havoc or could have done this or and didn't like decision making, like it boggles me how we give more than sevens and stuff for, for, the, for those terms. Because, bruv, there was chances today where Diaz could have just slipped a man in. But Nunes was right there, you know, 
the guy that's, on, that's the one. That's bro, the one. That is that's abysmal. No, but, I have no idea. They call it what it is. That's abysmal. Oh, it's we criminal. have to say it's abysmal. It's yeah, that I, is, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. shocking. Like, He's there's no one around Nunes. Nunes is in front of him. You can see I've him. said this. Uh, it's the easiest you, pass you can make. Like, and you don't do it. And I'm then we say don't this, talk yeah. of it. Like, it's, it's He's the most... No, but, no, but uh, other than that, which was absolutely terrible, what other standout poor things are you going along with in terms no, of... No, but I'm not saying poor. Again, like, I, all right, so this is what I'm saying, like, for anyone saying, like, he was cooking to the... I, I can't remember a time he beat his man one-on-one -on -one or anything like that. The header was a good header because he had to readjust himself because it took a deflection. So it's the, a brilliant the goal, header. The goal's good. The goal's good. Not taking anything away from that. But apart from that, I nothing stands out and makes me go, yeah, Diaz was cooking today, or Diaz did this, or Diaz... Did I can't think of anything. And again, like, not without, I, I, without being like... I think he was good I've got a decent memory. Like, I thought he was good today. I'm going I seven and a half for Diaz. I thought Diaz was good but, today. But what, what justifies a seven and a half shift? I thought he was good today. He was a constant threat. There was an odd time he made a poor decision, but there's other times he made a good decision. He was opening up space by attracting players away from him, um, attracting players with him with good runs and stuff. Like, yeah, he wasn't sensational or anything. He wasn't like no nine and no ten or nothing like that. But he he, he gets a seven, seven and a half. Like he was, I think he was, he was threatening. And it was just one or two things he could have done better to improve it. That would have been a very good performance. But, uh, and again, not even to put you on a spot head drift, but can you give me any examples of what he was doing that was threatening or... Yes, he would, he, like like, he would get the ball, he would do well, he'd cut inside, he'd take that player out of the game, then he'd cut, then he'd, then he'd take the second player out of the game, but then it'd be crowded, there was a third player, he'd be like, oh, so he'd have to lay off. So it kind of doesn't look like he did anything special, but he was trying to make open up spaces. There was a there was a lovely little play that him and Jones did in the first half. And even though in the end, his shot was quite weak because he was like on the turn, him and Jones did a lovely little triangle because they were playing quite deep and it was a low block that was kind of difficult to break down. So at least he was trying to shift players around and do stuff. It's not like he was standing there not doing anything. So I understand that some of his stuff was frustrating today, but I also think there were some good things he was doing that they don't go notice because maybe <laughs> nothing came of it. But getting past the first man and the second man and then running into a third man and having to like maybe turn around and lay off or pass back, I'm still appreciating. You know what? He's trying. He's there, there are things he's trying to do with what space he can work in. So yeah, he wasn't amazing or anything, but I still think he was good. And his goal was brilliant. Uh, he's so like, you know what I mean? Like I, I think anything less than a seven is quite harsh on Diaz today, personally. But again, if that's, no, what you not, if, if no, that's no. how you not feel, then that's fine. But no, I think fair. anything less than a seven is very... Very harsh on him today. Fair dude. All right, um, let me go. Let me let all right. Let, I'm gonna rip the band-aid off. Chris Angel. I know I know he's gonna send me. Oh, I don't even know. But, uh, we'll see if I'm still here by Monday. Big up Chris Angel, <laughs> by the way. Love to you in the family. You know it's, it's man by love. Um <laughs> we'll get that one out there quick still. Um, let me rip the band-aid off. Luis Diaz has gone through a lot this season. We know what's going for, what he's gone for, not gonna go for it. Um, not only that, he's had the injury from last season. If you watch Luis Diaz carefully, his game has actually changed. He's not that aggressive winger that will take his man on like one on one all the time and try and go at them. Now, what he likes to do is just come inside on, on his strongest foot and try and get a shot off. I hate to say this, but his style of play has changed. His style of play, he's gone from bringing Luis Diaz to now, I want to play a bit more like. If I can figure someone out coming to me quickly, Jack Grealish. He'll, he'll want to go inside and drift onto his right-hand side and go more centrally. And there's nothing wrong with that. But it's more like you never really used to do that. You used to try and... Whether you used to go on your left or go on your right, you used to be aggressive. You used to pin down your mark, pin down your defender. He don't really do that anymore. We have to be honest. His style has, has changed. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but... We just got to get used to it that he's not as aggressive anymore in the one-on-one -on -one situations. Because even in the Arsenal game, and I know everyone had a bad game, bro, I don't think he even tried to beat Ben White. He literally was just doing that whole, what? You kind of do this whole thing where you get the ball, you size man up, size man up, size man up, size man up, wait for an overlap, and then you go inside. He does that a lot. Like he's, he, I watched him carefully. His style of play has changed. Now today, he got his goal. I think it was a very good goal. 
But I was slightly disagree with Drift. I would say 6.5 for Luis Diaz and not a 7. If Do you give him 7, Drift? Is it 7? Yeah, or, or possibly even a 7.5. I thought it was good. Yeah, I, yeah, I would say 6.5. I thought it was good. Like, at, like, like, it was good. But I just know that, I don't know whether it's, because it could be confidence. And it could also be maybe what he's also told to do. But that Luis Diaz where when he got the ball and like he just, when he gets near the defender, I'm on you, bro. You What are you doing? Either way, going past you, aggressive. Even if he loses, even if he loses the ball, you don't really see that anymore. He's he, he more overly thinks about what his next step is. He loves to cut inside now. And that's kind of a, Oh, oh, yeah, the, 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 the only thing I'll say, and this, he doesn't this, do that for Colombia, guys. This is so, just me. Think, this is just me thinking about it. This ain't facts. It's just me thinking about it. That's just me. It, it could be one of a few things. It could be instruction. It could be based on the way we play, the style of the way we play, or it could also be the fact that a lot of things were labelled at him that he wasn't a goal getter. So what he was doing, mm. but like beating a player, or whatever, is like you know he's trying to replace Mane, and Mane was an was an absolute beast at getting the goals and whatever. Maybe he's trying to do the thing to score more goals because the way he was playing before didn't really get him in the positions to score the goals and now he gets in more positions to score goals. So there could be a number of factors behind it. It could be the injury, but maybe it's too lazy to just go, he had a really bad injury, he's done. Or he ain't got it anymore or whatever. <laughs> do you get what I mean? Like it, 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 could, be an, yeah, it yeah. could be it could be a number of different factors. Um, so and again, we, 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 don't, we don't know. Yeah. He's doing well on the goal scoring chart this season. I'm sure his goals are starting to tally up now. I do remember quite a few contributions from Diaz now, goal wise. Mm. I, I don't know. It could be a number of things. It could be a number. But again, I think it's very said, lazy to just go. He got that. injured. He's lost his pace. He's mm. done. I think that's extremely lazy. No, but no one said that, though. I, if you listen to what I've I said. I've heard that all the time. I, I, no, no, I you do, might have heard I that. Do, but I, I do think he's lost the other pace. I do think he's lost the pace. You can see it. You can definitely see it. But what I'm saying is his game has changed. He's not as aggressive. That's not me having a dig that's me just saying his game has changed when he Mane, plays for when he what facts because he plays more essentially but when he plays for Colombia you don't play as an orthodox winger he's free at Colombia he's free to yes do he, he does but he's allowed to play more essentially and go and do what he does whereas Liverpool you're more restricted so at Liverpool if you're told to be one of the free forwards and your role yeah is to create space whether that's beating your beating your man pause or like wait for that overlap fair enough that's fine but the Luis Diaz that first entered Liverpool was not doing that because when Mane was playing centrally when Mane lost a bit of his pace we kind of reinvented Mane in the, cent in the centre Luis Diaz was that electrifying left winger who would just touch line going inside going outside bro Diaz ain't doing that anymore but that's not no shade. It's just that his game has changed due to maybe the fact that he's had that injury. He's had to alter his game. But how, how do no we know shade. it's instruction? It could be because not, No, but... Drift, when was the last time Klopp let a player Drift, do what I've he seen Diaz do, on a one-on-one on one and he don't want it, bro. He don't want it. No, no, that's but I'm just honest. saying, when was the last that's time we, that's we ever had a player... When was the last time we ever had a player that Klopp was like, let's go do your thing, bro? That's, that's not how we no, but, play. Bro, but any manager would tell you, if you can isolate your defender and Klopp knows this guy is a football... But Klopp, when Klopp first spoke about Diaz, he used to be like, wow, what a player. Retete, electrifying, he's crazy, skilled. But Klopp knows what this guy has in his locker, you know? Why would Klopp tell him all of a sudden, yeah, I don't need you to do that anymore. Basically, I need you to... To, to go inside it might not be and wait for Robbo. Because it, it could be, yeah. I was going to say, it could be more beneficial for him not to do that. He might lose the ball more doing that and we're trying to keep possession. The turnovers are too high when you... Like, there could be... It, 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 it's, but you might have to like, oh, like, like Robbo's rampaging like old school Robbo. When we invert, Robbo stays back more time. Robbo has to pick his... Robbo has to pick and choose when he goes forward. So that don't make sense, in my opinion, because... But Robo hasn't been like, playing that much. Remember, no, he was injured for so long. No, but no, no, but even no, but even last season though, even last season. No, but last season Diaz was missing for a. We lot were still of last inverting. No, no, only towards right. like last ten game of the or last nine or, or it wasn't the whole season. Really, D but. Diaz, well, Diaz, Diaz, pretty much missed the majority of last season. Remember? Yeah, he weren't playing, right. bro. He got, that's when he was injured. All right, so but let, let's use Joe Gomez as an example. Let's see, Joe Gomez, yeah. Don't get twisted. 
there's times when he would invert. But you're not seeing a rampaging Gomez. Like, our design on that left-hand side is not for the left-back to rampage left. Um, no, but I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get what, that's my that, argument. what that's got to do with Diaz and changing Because you're talking Diaz about tactically. Played. No, because no, you're talking about tactically. Tactically, Luis Diaz, really and truly, if, he, if there's a one-on-one -on -one situation, why would he think to himself, I'm going to wait for the left-back to, to, to give me the overlap and then I'll cut inside. No, he, no, he did that today, but he doesn't do that all the time. Bro, watch Luis Diaz. He doesn't really go on the outside. And he loves to check uh, in right. on his right. What, what I notice a lot from what Diaz does, he'll spread the play, he'll take the ball as far as he can, and then he'll turn and he'll pass it back to Joey, and then Joey passes the ball inside. That happens a lot. I don't know if anybody else has noticed, but that happens a lot. I think that seems to be an instruction based more on possession. And waiting for per perfect opportunities rather than doing the Maverick team where you just take somebody on and then if you do get tackled or, or whatever, you've lost possession. Remember, Klopp, but how in the is last it a Maverick team if you're on a counter attack and you're one on one? Possession team. No, We've become you're talking, a way more possession based team. You're, you're talking about build up. I'm talking about if you counter attack a team and you're one on one, yeah, and you can see there's an opportunity there, why would Klopp tell you? Any manager, no manager is going to tell you, yeah, basically, I don't want you to do no one-on-ones, bro. Just wait so we overload. Bro, if no, a manager... What, 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 on counter-attacks, man, he does. He cuts inside. He doesn't take on his man to the byline, but he takes him on and cuts inside. Like he did bro, today he don't he take on his... to Nunes. Bro, like, that's I'm what he did. Say... He beat the player, came inside, but he just You're didn't execute friend. the pass. What but I'm he saying still... is... Beat the right, player ask, and me, tried quick to. Question. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't like he just passed backwards and. All right, let me say this. Attack. Let me say this. Quick question: Does Luis Diaz play more like Martinelli or Jack Greenish? Style of play. I don't think he can play. I, 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 I would in... say he plays right in the middle. I yeah, would I say style of play, like right in the middle of them. Both. But I don't I, think he I, plays I, like I'm, either of them. But that's even fine because I would have said I would have said personally, um, Luis Diaz of old would have been like 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 more like Martinelli. Because in my opinion, Martinelli is still that kind of bit, still raw, like go down, like head down, right? But Diaz, in my opinion, has better feet, and in my opinion, he's got a better football in IQ. That's what I'm trying to say. What I'm saying is not a disrespect. It's more like I don't his think your game has had to change. To him. I don't. His yeah, game has I think, changed. I, I think that could be a lot more due to instruction rather than just him. But again, none of us truly know, do we? So it's yeah, just yeah, one yeah. of those things. I, it's not even like. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, 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 I don't know. I don't know. Because I've still seen him cook players this season, but yeah, I don't know. Um, so what was the I gave him six point five. Matt, what did you give him? Uh six point five as well. Yeah, six point five. Uh, Drift, you gave him a seven. And Jersey boy, what are you giving him, bro? He's just for Darwin. No, nah, Diaz. Diaz. Yeah, sorry. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna give Diaz what six and a half. I even think. Seven and a half, possibly, but yeah, you lot of um, me anyway. Not gonna give Gapo and Simicast ratings because they didn't, from what I remember, they didn't get that much minutes. Yeah, not really. I mean, no, to be no, fair, yeah, Gapo yeah. did. He was on for about twenty. Was Gapo he, on for he, twenty minutes? I'm yeah. sure he was. Yeah. No, nah, Gapo came on. No, did he? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna go five and a half. I thought Gapo came on an 80th minute. No, or my guy mad. No, I think he came. On, I think he came on in the seventy something, and then we had eight minutes. I said, "Get for him on eighty so minutes, seventy half minute." He was no? on the pitch for about twenty check. minutes. Bro, I swear, Gapo. It's a five then for Gapo because I'm sure. I'm sure he came on in the seventy something minute, and then there was eight minutes stoppage minute, time. So Gapo played minutes? about. Gapo came on 88, 80 second minute. I told you. Fam. Oh, okay, it was a bit late. Yeah. 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 No, but there was eight minutes of stoppage time, guys. Yes, he played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying minutes. he was. He was on the field long enough to rate him. He was. He he was on the field. Oh, it, yeah, in that regard. But I'm just saying he came on 80th. I'll I'll go five and a half for Gapo. Gapo didn't really do that. I'm five. just going five. Five. I almost. I also feel like he's a scapegoat though, but that's a different conversation. Oh, Monday, Jesus! That's for Monday though. Ow, my ears. That's that's another conversation for Monday still. So. Um, oh, uh, Elliot for me, oh yeah, it's, a, it's a mad thing, a mad thing. <laughs> uh, Elliot, I'm, I'm going nine and a, I'm going nine and a half for Elliot. I think he's the other contender for man of the match. Absolutely brilliant. 45 minutes from Elliot. Shabby ball. Absolutely brilliant. 45 minutes. There's only one thing Elliot did wrong today, and that was he got done when they won a corner. 
But again, I can't hold it against a kid who just can't tackle. Yeah. You know, you know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong. It's frustrating. Nah, you nah, look at like, the Trossard goal. You're like, you're a big part of that. Do you get what I mean? Like, you're a massive part of that. But how angry can we get at a guy for not tackling when he's not good at it, never been good at it? Mm. He's an attack-minded player. It's a bit, you know, he's, he's got to step up though. Jones has proved you can learn to do these things, no matter how much of an attack-minded player you are. So he does have to up it. He does. He hasn't got long for me to give him a blight on being crap at tackling. But he was, what a what a performance from Elliot today. Absolutely brilliant cameo from Elliot. Nine and a half. I thought Elliot, I thought Elliot was sick. I, I was saying nine. I thought nine. He should have had a hat-trick of assists as well. Jersey nine. boy, what about yourself? Nine and a half. I mean, my man of the match. I'm going to bump it to nine and a half as well, you know. What would well, you give him a nine know, originally? I did. Give I said nine. Nine and a half. <laughs> Elliot was quality. Uh, I, I, I can't know. split between me who is man of the match between him, Jones, and Endo. I've, I've, it, it's, it, it's probably it's, it's, Endo it's Elliot, or Elliot overall, but the, the yeah. Game, you think it's Elliot? The game I changed when he came on. It did. Oh, it did. I think it's, it's sleeping on Curtis Jones, man. I think all three of them were brilliant. That's what I'm saying. All three of them were brilliant today. All three. Of I them. think uh, that's just me, though. That's me. I, 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 the switch to right back is probably being even more underrated about Jones's performance. Bro, I saw Luis Diaz left. play right back, and look at the difference. And I know the team didn't play well, but you see, I'm, there's a dip, bro. <sighs> anyway, Diaz anyway. played right back for like 10, five, 10 minutes and looked tragic. Jones mm. played right back and looked like he's played there before and he's calm. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Ali, I think Tushel speaking for himself, bro. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have these supers and then we can just wrap up. Uh, Ty says, top of the league in the middle of Feb and we need to calm down on our tight aspirations. But teams below us don't give you head a wobble. I think you got a little context there though, Ty. I hear you. I do hear you. I'm not disregarding what you're saying, but there is context there as well in terms of the amount of injuries we're picking up and the fact that the two teams are going up against have like they were in a title race last season as well so you, you kind of look at the momentum season. there as well so I don't I, think you, people you, are saying that are bad but I also hear where you're coming from as well I, I'll be honest with you people might not like this and it's going to sound strange coming from the person who was the most optimistic about being able to challenge for the title this season I don't think we're actually ready for a title race and I think that's what all the trepidation and the worry and the anxiety is actually coming from. Next season, Klopp was supposed to be here, get the last pieces of the puzzle in the summer. And next season was meant to be our title winning season. We're not actually ready to win the league. But again, things change throughout the season, right? And the expectation has massively risen. Because I know what's crazy is all the people saying, oh, we're going to bottle it. Why aren't we this one without? And all that kind of stuff. I can guarantee you, not factually, but I can guarantee you, those people weren't the people who were with me on the, we can challenge, you know. They were the, it's only a top four thing. It's a top four thing. And then all of a sudden we get in the position to be able to try and challenge for the league. And then those people go from having this low expectation to now we're bottlers and we're shit. And why is this and why is that? But at the beginning, you thought that's where we would be. So I'm I very agree. confused how you felt like that. And then in such a short space of time, now you've gone to this expectation and now you're angry? Because expectations can change. If we call Arsenal bottlers for last season, they never went into the season last season going into a title race or looking to win it. We all said I, they're top I, four and best. But, a little bit but different, if, though, Cal. They had an eight point lead with about five games to go. No, no, ten games no to I go. hear that. But, a little bit, but little bit different. A little about, bit different. You know what no, I mean? But I'm talking about expectations here. Expectations have changed because. Oh, they have. They have. So, so we're still so the same. We, we're still the same team. So right? if we do get a, a lead, and we bottle it, then we can still say we bottled it, even though expectations change. Based no, no, on people are saying we bottled it now. No, it, we we're top of the league, and people are already saying we've bottled it. No, we ain't it's it. crazy. Like, I, I, I'm just confused. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm already here in Liverpool to bottled it, and we're top of the league. It's a, ain't it a bit mad? But I don't know. Yes, man. I'm, listen, I, guys, listen, love, love. I've got, yeah, yeah, people. Matt, bro. Big I'll up, be bro. back. I'll be back Monday. Monday, we're back Monday. About yeah, Monday, yeah. people. Oh, love, you love, love, you, yeah, you gotta shout me as well, bro. You gotta shout me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I shout, 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 shout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool, all right, cool. 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 Love people. Um, Monday. Yeah, back. Um, pimping the stress says, Cal, when are we giving flowers for ah oh, spider on me? When are we giving flowers for uh Morton? Well, I, my door's always open, man. I'm always collecting flowers. I could do with artificial flowers right now because the pollen in the house is crazy with the amount I've had to collect over the last few months, but yeah, I mean, 
yeah, who wants to talk about Morton? Because I got I got cussed out of the room for saying Morton's about it. You know, you know, we, we do. Yeah, but, do, he, but, he, but even you yourself said he wasn't good enough to play for Liverpool, which I think was... No, no, no. I said he wasn't about. good enough to start for Liverpool. Or be the backup. I'm I, I, I'm sure I remember all of us agreeing he should go on low and he's not actually good enough to be in the Liverpool team right I now. I said I wouldn't be upset if he was part of the rotation, but should not be a starter. That was my Because mem remember, we thought Bacetic was going to be that guy, the rot rotation guy. Morton was not better than him. I think everybody universally agreed Morton shouldn't be in the Liverpool team. No, we said, well, I said Morton shouldn't be a six, he's an eight. And again, is a six. if he proves me wrong, then brilliant, because I love Liverpool young players doing well. So, you know what I mean? The thing is, now we've added eight to the team. I don't know if Morton can get in. There's an argument to say he could do just as well as Elliot, if not better though. I'll just put that out there. Um, the way Saka, Bradley's proved, you just got to keep playing well, bro. And you might get in. You might yeah. get in, bro. You just got to keep playing well. Um, Saswat, uh, big up Saswat, um, says, is Grav relegated to the basement after <laughs> Arsenal? Uh, no, but de he definitely needs to be taken out of the firing line. Definitely. Apparently, he was one of the players that was ill today. Um, no, he was saying. on the bench. No, but like apparently he was he was he wasn't feeling well. You know, like um, he was he was a bit under the weather, so to speak. But oh, okay. he he deserved to not play after the Arsenal performance, though. I agree with that. Like that was yeah. a shocking performance. Uh, God, AEM says Klopp confirmed Trent is injured again. Yeah, very annoying, man. Very annoying. Um. Big up Beijing Reds TV. Make sure you go and subscribe. Also, make sure you go and subscribe to Jamie Phillips Football Chats as well. Um, I'm invested on Chabby for our next manager. Been saying this since last season, not just now that Klopp said he's leaving. <laughs> Blessing my brothers. Do you know? Shout out to Beijing Barnes. Also, shout out to Chris Angel and Lakers as well. They have been speaking about Chabby Lonzo since last year. They're not just jumping on the bandwagon now. I'm going to be real with you. If I start saying Chabby Alonso to Liverpool, I would be a bandwagon person because I never expected Klopp to leave, so I never really associated Chabby Alonso with Liverpool and all that. Um, but, oh, do you know, it's, it's, sorry, sorry, shout out to Rams. He just called me out. Rams, mm -hmm. I apologise, bro. You did as well. Ram, I'm so, look, I'm looking down the camera, Rams. I'm <laughs> sorry, bro. I'm sorry. It, 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 here's the mad thing, and and the funny thing is, one of my one of my one of my good 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 brethrens could confirm this if we could talk, but it is what it is. I I was under the impression we never had to worry about Klopp until at least is the end of his contract. So I never ever got involved in any conversation about it because that was just where my head was. But we were having a conversation me and my brethren, and we were talking about the Arteta Alonso comparison and how both of them were friends and all that. And I remember him saying like, "Do you think Liverpool will get him?" And I was like, "Do you know what?" All I can hope for is that he continues on this trajectory and Bayern and Real Madrid haven't taken him by the time Klopp leaves. So I was fully on board with it being Jabby Alonso if he continued the trajectory. But again, I thought we had another two years after Klopp. So my mind didn't even remotely think that far ahead. Do you get what I mean? I think I remember saying, hopefully by then he might have gone to one of them teams and then he'd left and then he can come to Liverpool. So yeah, I was like right down the middle with that one. Because we never thought we'd lose Klopp. We really yeah. didn't think we would lose Klopp. So not gonna lie, watching this game, I'm gonna know if we don't get them in the Europa still. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, yeah. could be a techie one. Like, no, oh, no, we don't. Right. We don't want Leverkusen in the Europa. We don't. Oh, we really uh, don't. You want that drama still? Yeah, yeah. We um, don't. Final rating before we um sign off. Jurgen Klopp's rating today. I will go seven for Klopp today. Um. I don't really think necessarily you can blame him for the the, the not-so-great performance from individuals in the first half. He changed it up second half, which was good. Um, and then we ended up and went on to comfortably win the game. Um, so, seven, seven and a half o'clock. He got the job done in the end. I agree with that rating. Um, what about yourself, Jersey Boy? Do you agree with seven, seven and a half? I'm going seven and point five as well. You know, he took turn off early because of the injury. Yeah. He had no choice. He could have put Endo a right back, but he put Trent uh, Jones a right back because Jones had played there before in the was it Europa League or was it no no it was Leicester I think against Leicester he played in the uh, right backs for me I'm gonna yeah, give him seven point five because the lineup I think it's the lineup we all expected because 
Gomez, Ill, Allison, Ill. Yeah. And I'd rather end up playing than play Gravin. So I think there was no issues at all with the lineup. And he did make early changes. So I think there's no fault with Klopp today, in my opinion. Agreed. Um, Ty says, I wasn't with Drift at the beginning of the season, but where we are, but we are where we are now without even playing well, played all the hard games away and sit top. Yeah, I hit bro Ty, I fully hear you. I do, I'm not gonna lie. Man United and Villa away do give me are the very, heebie jeebies a little they bit. They are very tough. They <laughs> are very tough. <laughs> like, yeah. And Man United are getting better, which is the worst yeah. thing. We Plus needed that away win. game to be when we was at um and when they peak. were crap. Yeah. yeah, when they were crap, they're getting better now, Man United. You know what I'm saying? So, so that's the one thing I'll say there. But you know what? Things could be a lot worse than what they are in it. So yeah. We keep on moving, man. Until it's mathematically impossible, I'm always going to hold out that we can do it. I'm more worried about Old Trafford away than Villa away. Old oh, Trafford, I'm not. Old, I'm not. Nah, Old, Old Trafford away is going to be mad. If they continue to get better, Old Trafford away is going to be a very tricky game. Yeah, I'm worried about both, but Villa away, I'm more worried about because they are so aggressive in their play. No, they are, but but the, the thing that could help in our favour is that Villa are going to be very hard-pressed with so many games and a lot on their plate, whereas Man United are just one game a week, bro, bang, one game a week, well, bang. Villa out, Villa out of the um, FA Cup now. I know, but they're probably going to progress far in the Europa League conference, bro, so like they're going to still yeah, have that commitment mentally, physically. Man United, just one game a week, bang, do you know what I mean? And they're, they're going to have all the time to prepare, they're going to get their players back from injury. Yeah, shit, Everton away. For us, that's that's never an easy game either because obviously yeah, it's Everton. Real, we we, we, we've got a lot of difficult games left, to be fair, guys. Because Man City at home, I don't really care if it's home or where it's Man City. Yeah. So we just have to take, we just have to see what go on. But the other teams have got difficult games as well. So that's one thing we have to remember. That's one thing yeah, we have we'll, to remember. We'll see. We'll but see. people, people, firstly, Jersey boy, we know you're taking time out of your day to, to help out today, not just with the watch long, but with this show as well. Much appreciated, brother. Really yeah, appreciate it. Um, the link to Jersey Boys channel is in the description as well, guys. So please don't be shy. Go over there and subscribe and support Jersey Boy. Uh, Drift, have you got anything coming up on your channel? Um, yes, tomorrow I am doing the AFCON final. That's gonna be crazy. Cool, um, cool. and there's a slight possibility, depending on what happens today, that I may possibly be doing the Arsenal game versus West Ham tomorrow. But again, cool. I don't know if I want to give Arsenal five goals. So we'll see. Yeah, don't want to <laughs> yeah. do that. Don't yeah, do yeah. That. yeah. You know, Carl, I, you know I haven't had a bunch of long that hasn't I know, had five goals. I know, bro. bro. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, I mean, been like been the streams, but it's been for a great problem teams, because if we, did, if we do Arsenal, Arsenal win five. And if we do Man United, Man United spank Villa. So we need to, we need to find a way to break the curse and actually make yeah the I know teams you want to I lose. Know. The only thing the only thing that gives me um the hope that it's not <laughs> possibly me is like Man City just beat up Everton today. Like if I'd have done a watch along, I'd have been like that's my fault again in it. Fuck sake. Yeah, but they did it without me. So it's like... no man City today. Yeah, no, I hear that. I hear that. I hear that. Um, I mean, to be fair, the Arsenal game is probably more difficult than the Man United game. There's probably more chance I would do the Man United game, to be honest, than the Arsenal game. But we'll see. Keep an eye out. Afcon final. Afcon final. That's five goals. I make an interesting final. And we're not yeah, going to yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. win. You know, it's going to be a lit final anyway. It's going to be a lit final. So, yeah, we will be there definitely 100% for the AFCON final. 100%. Nice, nice, nice. So, make sure, guys, you click the link in the description for Drifty's channel. I'll probably have a video coming out on my channel. So, make sure you head over there if you're an MMA fan. Check that out. Also yeah, have especially with that Conor McGregor news as well, bro. So, well, oh, well, that is not fine till autumn. Well, obviously, you and Luke, obviously, like, you know, yeah, the whole yeah, thing. We, we, like, so yeah, people, yeah, make yeah. sure you go over there, man. These lot of yeah. big things with the UFC stuff, man. Luke and Jamie are legends for helping with all that stuff as well. So, people, on Coppish, we won't be back until Monday unless there's any breaking news between now and then. So, make sure you like this video. Drift said some great stuff at the beginning of the stream about us getting to a 1,000. Uh, Saswa, I, I did read out your super chat, bro. Um, what did, did this get... one? You did, 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 oh, did no, you sorry, it? I did. I missed that one. Sorry, drift two shows. Yeah, he's been on fraud watch for a while. He's been on fraud watch, for he's been on fraud watch ever since he kept trying to follow clock. Yeah, for <laughs> real. 
<laughs> um, tight. I'd expect us to take three points at those grounds. I do as well, but I think they'll be very tough. Mm -hmm. I think they'll be very tough, but I do as well. I like Ty's energy, man. I can't lie. Ty, big up yourself. I like that energy, bro. Um, RG, my channel is called The Sanderson Show. The link to it is also in the description. So the link to my channel, Drift's channel, Jersey Boys channel, and soon Matt's channel will always be in the description on YouTube, guys. So don't be shy. Please support. <laughs> Boys, anything you want to say to the people? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ram, that. Oh, Doing the Gimaras again. What, what were you saying? Man. Sorry, I, didn't what you, I didn't hear what you said. Did you say you want me to? Have got anything to say? Yeah, anything you want to say before the, the people? Uh, before we off? Not much, but in terms of content, on uh, no content tomorrow. If you, if I'm doing anything, it will be with Drifty tomorrow on on Drifty TV. If not, I have a Monday. I have a like a Premier League round up show of a friend, so we'll be going diving deep into all the Premier League games. Um, other than that, there'll be no content on World of Football till Monday. Um, and if I do watch along, it will be with Drifted Tamar, either the AFCON final or yeah, Man United. Be, be there or be square, people. It will be Indeed. it will be fun, man. Indeed. And you're what you're you you're, you're invited as well, Cal, by the way, to the, to the If I'm not doing football. anything tomorrow, I'm there's a chance I might dust off the boots and play football tomorrow evening. There's a chance. Ooh. So you might be nursing the hammies in the evening. Oh, I'll be nursing a lot more than that. Bro. <laughs> 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 I'll be nursing the whole body, bro. Um, but yeah, yeah there's a yeah. slight chance. If I'm not and I can jump on, I'll have yeah, to take that invitation, bro. So I'll let you know during yeah. the day anyway. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. But people, enough love to you all. Please smash that like button, subscribe to all the channels. Until we see you next time, have a great rest of the day wherever you are. Stay safe, stay blessed. We're Coppish Rap people. Take care. Peace.